here. Oh, nope, nope, hold on. There we are. Hello. So I was getting some things set up. Um, da, 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 da. How do you spell Twitch? How? How do? Uh -oh. All right, so, menu. Dog out, all right. Left, left, down, up, right, down, up, right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, down, up, left. Right, right, left, down, up, left. Okay, my hair doesn't look too terrible. This candy usually does. Um. Alright, and, uh. Yeah. Let's. Wait, wait, hold on. Go check up on Sunny Shore City. Isn't our next goal to. Alright, hold on. Hmm. Hello. Um, actually, yeah, since we're just about to start, I'd say we could do that quick. Uh, you need Veilstone, Veilstone, Jubilife, and what was the other one again? We could do this. We could do it super quick. Um, Explore Kick, because that's where we ended off last time. Alright, um, there we go. Yeah, we, we, we can help out this real quick. Um, where did I have to go on the map again? I think it was down left. Here we go. Alright. So you get good. Or get goods. Alright, here's the first ones. I assume you got that last time you were pretty dang fast. Alright, cool. Alright. Um. Da, da, da. Oh, I gotta go to the bag. No, I wanna I wanna leave. I wanna how do I how do I leave? Do I there we go, okay. Uh go up. Yep. Um it's Orberg. Yeah, as long as we haven't officially started, now is the perfect time to bet to get this info for you. Okay, so we're good on Jubilife then, right? All right. Um. And then this one is. I mean, it's towards one of the dots of the map, so I think just. Nope, that's a diglet. Nope, that's also a dig. I know what that was, but I got it. Um, is it up here? All right, there we go. Okay, goods. Okay, so we got. Bleh, 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 bleh. And then we'll go to, I don't remember which part of town the um, lottery was in though, to be completely honest. It, I remember it wasn't the building I thought it was. I remember that, I know that for sure. But I don't remember which building it is. Cause it's not that one. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Eight eight seven one seven. Nope. Eh, it's fine. Alright, cool. 
All right, now let's fly back. Let's fly back, because we got... Oops. We got the rest of this game to finish, yo. I hope your spreadsheet prediction thing's going well, though. I mean, I guess I'm not really sure how to measure success in that regard, but I hope it's going well. I hope, you know, data I provide is at least somewhat helpful, right? But with that, let's properly begin the episode. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I think we're good. Right. So, let's begin. Hello, everyone. My name is Max. I'm so like to welcome back to Pokemon. I am overheating. You guys, I'm stripping. Don't look. You guys, I'm stripping. Yeah. Yeah. Can't get my hood. Thousand sets of data, quickly report to 100% HVAC, send that says a good deal further away, but your data helps a lot with that. Nice. But welcome back to. Which I'm gonna call it, whatever I said this was called. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Bug Challenge. On the last episode, we beat, if I remember correctly, basically. We must have already beaten all these guys. Does that mean I should go from the other direction? Nah, it's fine. But, um. So dang stealthy. But we beat. Be Oops. Don't know why it's an eraser. We beat what was basically the entire Team Galactic. Or G Gal Gal Galaxis? Cirrus? The guy who tried to summon God and we kind of slapped him around a little bit. It was pretty funny, not gonna lie. How did I get that? Oh, there's a rock climb thing over there. Wait, 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 wait hold on. Where's the, where's the, where's the rock, there's a rock climb thing. Cause I see this. There you go. Uh, 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 I thought, I thought I saw it. Hold on. Isn't that, no? What the fuck? What's the, what's the, what's the? There it is. I was gonna say, like, I know, I know it's there. There, yep, now I can see it totally fine. Okay. And then we run over here and. Cheeky blighters make it so you can't see shit because the building's in the way. Better get something good for. Alright, I guess. But, um. If my brain could function. Uh, yeah, we beat what was basically the entirety of Team Galactic, and I think we did one gym. I could be wrong about that. I think we did one gym, but the point remains now we have one gym left and then the Elite Four. However, we started running into an issue last time. Um, guys were kicking our asses. Majorly. Like, um, <clears throat> apologies. Like, we couldn't just get away with being stupid and doing whatever we want. We, um, started our asses handed to us. So, I'm kind of scared to see how the Elite Four is going to go because off the top of my head, I could be totally wrong about this. I could be thinking of other generations right now. Isn't there a fire and ice or a flying Elite Four? Maybe not here, but eventually? I forget. And, um... Also, this is the game that has Cynthia. Uh, I wish I, I should probably, I should probably use the hard scale, see if that suits now that I was struggled by this. Oh, I'm just still pretty good. But, um, yeah, it's, um, it's Cynthia, who I don't think I've ever actually fought Cynthia myself, but is, correct me if I'm wrong, basically, um, one of the most notoriously hard champions, she has a, oh fuck yeah, she has a guard chop, the lead forward sit our bug, ground fire, psychic, etc. Yeah. I'm very happy that one of them's bug, that makes me happy. But um, yeah, not to mention we're probably gonna have to deal with our rival Stukabri, who has a Monfernape, who last, or has a Monfernape, now gonna be an Infernape who last time sweeped our entire team. That's not a joke or an exaggeration. We barely won. Wait, forget an old move. 
Oops. That's perfect. Actually, yeah, that's that's per that's perfect. Yeah, a hundred percent. Lunge is cool. I'd be very happy if Lunge was on Kyojinba, but Bug Buzz works better, especially with Quiver Dance. And Veladier, we also basically decided, besides the poison attacks, is the one that lets down the team. So. He is obviously her own type super effective against everything. Yeah, I'm kind of scared. I don't remember what the rest of her team is. Off the top of my head, I think there's like a spirit tomb. Did she have Luka? She might have Luka. Yeah, no. Don't tell me. But, um, not gonna lie, I'm a little, I'm a little intimidated. So, expect a lot of us not using repels because we're gonna need to get every level we can. You know, simply put. Like we're 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 gonna need we're gonna need that level advantage as much as possible, which you know I normally don't like doing, but in this situation, kind of need it. Yeah, I like Remory. Remory's cute. Here, have a bug butt. <laughs> here, here, Remory. Let me just let me just suck out. Let's suck out your soul real quick. It's okay. Let me let me send little signals and vibrations into your brain to the point where you like bleed out or whatever. But um, yeah, that is that is our goal. That is our goal for this episode is to beat the game, and then depending on how much longer we have after that time-wise, maybe we'll see what's in the post game. Post game stuff is. I'll be honest. When it comes to Pokemon, I almost never do post game stuff. It's just not. Uh, sh I'm gonna die. That's unfortunate. I wish I had some real items to hand to everyone. Like, where's the um? Who's one call it? Where's like the beak or the the razor beak or where the one flying item is? Where's the? Oh, that's that's gonna come in really handy. It's gonna come in super duper handy. Even though it's kind of cheating, we're gonna need it. But uh, yeah. For, when it comes to Pokemon games, I've never really been one to do a lot of like post game activity. Not because I don't like Pokemon, but because I get my fun out of doing the main stuff once the main stuff's done and the challenge is over it's like ah, oh, well well I, I know there's like oh you can you can re like you can go against the elite four and shit again where it's the same pokemon but they up the levels by 20 and make it so they have more of a strategy oh you can find all the legendaries oh you can do beauty challenges and blip blip blip, blip. but this has never really been my thing so it's um i'm just But, um, oh, I need to buy some potions and shit, too. Oops. Sorry, I just have flashbacks to, um, Super Smash Bros. of this song. It's a nice song. It's very chill. I'll be happy to sink you. Thanks. Appreciate it. He's like, nah, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna pull on this line. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw shit at you. Don't worry about it. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll look around a little bit. I'm, I'm not going to say I expect to see that much. I imagine there's going to be very little, but it'll be fun to kind of look around. At minimum, I want to see what's in that one cave that, um, that one Team Galactic guy who, like, doesn't move. He always said, like, I'm lost, boo-hoo, the one by Sky Pillar. I want to see what his deal is. And then I want to go to the, I think it's a swimmer. Oh, fuck you, Feebass. I have a grudge against Feebass. Like a serious, honest to goodness grudge, which I will go into in a bit. But, um. Who should we call it? Um. I at least want to see what his deal is, and then the one swimmer who's like, oh, come back to me once you're. once you've done all the badges and stuff. I, I'm kind of curious on that. But. Yeah. Hope everyone's day is going well. I never liked calling Wednesday Hump Jack, but. How's everyone doing? Whoa. Uh, oh, I got, I got a. Oh. oh, I thought I, I thought I took you down. Care to break the monotony? Uh. So okay, so I just don't want anything to do with them. <laughs> Oh, wait, shit, that looks good. But no, okay, so the reason, the, the reason 
that I have a grudge against Feebas is not because I've ever tried to complete a Pokedex. For the record, I pretty much never have at all. I just don't really care for it. It's not my thing. I want to play with the Pokemon I want to play with. I remember once forever ago, it was on Twitch, that I like actually sat down and tried to do it, and I got bored really quickly. No, so it's not for that kind of reason. It's more that, um, who'd you call it? Um, the monotony was broken. I got my ass handed to me. Bleh. Max, you're not even bothering with the berries. Damn it. Yes. So, I imagine a lot of you guys play Pokemon Go. And, um... What was it? Has it been about a year or so ago? I forget. I started playing it up again. It was when I was, um... I was, I was working a job at a plaza donation place. And there was a lot of dead time. It was my job, basically, to, um... People would be hooked up to the machine and they would donate plasma and then they'd hand me the bottle and I would have to scan it, set the bottle all up, have it organized, make it in the systems and put in the fruit. So that was my job. And it was an alright job. It had a really, really, um, the, who do I call it, the work schedule changed like all the time and it drove me nuts. And there was a lot of downtime, so I was playing on my phone a lot and during, and that was when I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to re-download Pokemon Go. And there was like a Pokemon stop relatively close by. So there was like a steady stream of Pokemon that came in. And it was fun to see the Pokemon I caught when I played the game originally in Japan. Like I have this slow bro that says it's from, it's from Yakuska in Japan. And I was like, ah, oh, it makes me so happy. But the quests in that game are bullshit. Like they give you good stuff. They give you access to legendaries. How many fucking paths are there on this route? Like, it's like there's three different paths now. I feel weird that there's that child there staring at that sailor. But okay, yeah, you better turn away and trim. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Ah, oh, there's so a hidden item there. There is so a hidden item there. Eh, I'm not gonna eat. Well, no, I, no, I should buy some extra Pokeballs in case they're like, hey, fight a legendary. You know what I mean? So I should do that. But, um, the quest, I really like the quests in those games because they do give you, uh, not that I let it, oh yeah, that's right, I remember hearing about that, that, um, what? Dope. Uh? Yeah, he says like, yo, I'm more agitated at night, not that it, that ever gets to me. But, um, but, um, the quest in that game, as much as I really like the quest because they kind of give you a goal, right? I'm all about, basically, now that I think about it, whenever it comes to, like, actually, I should say whenever it comes to, just most games, I like having secondary, tertiary, however, however you want to say, goals. Warhammer is a perfect example of it. I love lords and races and stuff that they give you a task. Sure, you know, tasks are good. But they also give you, oops, like, um, secondary things to work towards. My favorite legendary lord, who is not in the third one, he's, he's not in Total Warhammer 3, but he is in 2, he's my absolute favorite, was Ikic Claw, and he was a Skaven. And, wow, you are very specially inclined, aren't you? Remember, it ain't. So... Better figure yourself out, man, Tyke. You better have a clever little play. <laughs> But, um, he, oops, the Skaven have, like, a few built-in secondary goals because they get, uh, they get a resource called food that lets them do cool things, like, they need food to be happy, but if you get enough food, you can do some cool stuff, so they have that goal, and they can make Undercities, which is, like, another goal in itself. Oh, Bug Buzz isn't effective? I used the wrong move. Damn it. That was on me. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna sludge bomb your ass. See what you fit. Let's see what you can figure out about this asshole. Boom. Boom. But, um, yeah, Skaven have a lot of built-in secondary strategies, and I really, really like that. But Ikiclaw had 
other built-in strategies too, uh, other built-in goals and things you need to accomplish as well. You could upgrade your weapon team, you could upgrade your artillery, and you could get warp stone, and you could make nukes, and literally, that was an in-game mechanic. You could build nukes, and they were awesome. And you could do all sorts of great stuff with it. And I adored him for that. While other legendary lords, like, um, trying to think of a few off the top of my head, Queek, like, like Queek, what you had was what you had, and you could argue his base kit was nicer, but it was basically the same, so you had to really push quickly because in the late game, it was stronger. That, that whole kind of thing. I say it to say I love secondary goals, but Pokemon Go has some of the most annoying secondary goals because they'll do things like catch X specific Pokemon or He's going nuts. Oh. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna. The Pokemon's nice because I can like walk around and do this, and y'all can still hear me. I'm quieter. But Pokemon Go has a problem in that it'll have a goal of catch specific Pokemon. But depending on the time of year and depending on oh, depending on the time of year and depending on like where you live, you're not going to see those Pokemon. So for who knows how freaking long, I've had this quest. Sorry, just stretching out the green screen. So for who knows how long, I've had this quest that was basically Evolve the Feebats. So, for those of you who play Pokemon Go, you know that means I'm gonna have to find a Feebass, catch it, and I think it needs like a hundred candy to evolve. So somehow you're gonna have to get a hundred candy. Traditionally, when you catch one, you get three candy, and then when you transfer it, you get a fourth. So at minimum, at minimum. So let's see, three, 97, 96, and so 3 gets you to 97, 96, whatever it is, 25, 24, and so really 25 because you're going to be one short. <sighs> I only got a fee bass once, and I don't know if there's some programming or what, but they gave me a fee bass out of an egg, right? Which is awesome because that meant I could make my buddy and start walking towards gaining candy because when you have a Pokemon as a buddy, when you walk around with it, you can earn candy. It takes five kilometers, you have to walk five kilometers for one candy. I have had this fucking Pokemon as my buddy, with the exception of having to make other Pokemon my buddy, just for sake of um, doing quests or whatever, like evolve certain Pokemon. I have been getting, I have been having this Pokemon as my buddy for like a year or however long I've been playing. And it is just infuriating. And then I got other quests that were just like it. The other one was um, catch five executives. And it was like, okay, so that means Execute are going to spawn more often, right? So that way I can actually catch the bugger, right? Nope. Just had to wait. Uh, I currently have one that's Evolve. It was Catch a Cubone, Evolve a Scyther, and Evolve, uh, and evolve a Drowsy. I got lucky. Huh? Okay. I got lucky, and a Cubone daily event happened. So I was able to... I might need to run back into town. Because I'm like running out of shit. There you go. Sure. Because, <laughs> like, can you tell me what kind of Pokemon you have? Sure, child, that you did pull some knife. But, um, the entire tube is just a knife. But, yeah, so now I have to pray that Scythers and Drowsies come around so I can evolve them. It's so unbelievably infuriating because you have zero control of what kind of Pokemon are going to come around. It just sucks. And Feebass, I feel like, is the worst case, is like the worst example of it because besides the one that I got from an egg, 
I ha I I have not seen one at all. Uh, Pika fan. Oops, I didn't want to actually go in. I hate it. I hate. I hate it here. You want to play a championship with only Pikachu? That's a challenge. Someone has done that as a challenge, right? So someone has done that. Some run of Pokemon. Actually, nah, that'd be too easy to do uh, Pokemon or to do uh, Let's Go Pikachu with only Pikachus. Because, you know, you, obviously you get the starting Pikachu who's like super strong and then you just get a bunch of normal ones. And then you'd still have to catch other Pokemon just for sake of like being able to do all the gyms. I don't, I don't think Pikachu has enough like versatility to make that really fun. You know what I mean? Nah, right, good talk. Bye. Big Pokemon wanted? No. Uh, I don't really have any, um, I don't really have any big Pokemon. I mean, I think, I, I think my biggest Pokemon is Heracross, technically, and even then it's only, I don't know, big. No? No? It was an elaborate ruse. I was lied to. <laughs> so yeah, rank concluded. I, I like playing Pokemon Go, but I get kind of easily annoyed by it. For those reasons, wow, you're a wild level 40. Holy shit. If this doesn't kill you, I'm gonna. Actually, no, no, I should just switch out to Latour in general because only one shot of Bug Buzz, only one shot of Air Slash. Like, yeah, let's just, let's just switch you out. You, you ran out of. You ran out of juice, that's okay. Anyways, rank concluded. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, I, I just get kind of annoyed with that game. It doesn't help that, um,. Yo, it's cold out right now, so I'm not gonna be going for walks. And the game's like, we expect you to walk around and blah, blah, blah. Cause you know, half the game's point is to encourage you to walk around, even though like catching Pokemon can be really tedious in that game. Or, um, who'd you call it? Or, or like to hatch eggs and you get so many eggs and you, like obviously it's a free game and they're trying to get you to, they're, they're, they're trying to get you to pay money, and I have I have fun with some money and do it, but not that much. And um, now just shit like that drove me nuts. I still play it, but yeah. I did also download Pikmin Bloom, and I kind of have similar complaints with Pikmin Bloom. Because <laughs> like, uh, okay, so I work as an IT guy, and the facility I work at is pretty big, sure, but I don't go walk around the facility unless there's something for me to do. So, do you have a poison? Oh, oops. I should have, oops. Actually, no, this is, uh, wait, does ground type with this bug? I think it does. No, it doesn't. Does ground type with this poison? I know poison's weak. Well, okay, logically. Bug Buzz is the best option because um, with it's not super it's not super effective, but neither is Psychic. So at least with the um, Bug Buzz and staff, it's a little stronger. Yeah, these guys are really they're really tactical. They're hitting hard, and I'm like ten level. I'm almost ten levels ahead, and they're hitting hard. So that's a little intimidating to say the least. Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> Like you fucked up. He's like, it's my last Pokemon. This wasn't my decision to make. Oh, I think it was. I think you fucked up. Bitch. Oh shit. No, you don't have focus sash or something? You just you just toughed it out. But yeah, so besides dog walks, which like because it's cold I haven't done as much, but I would normally do like two or three times a week. Um I don't walk around that much, and so much of that game is based on walking around. You know what I mean? So, I, I, have, a, I have a weird relationship with phone games. My first instinct is not to like them, but I also recognize I can get kind of addicted to stuff like that pretty easily, so... It, it's a little back and forth for me. Alright, is this a route or is this a city? Please be a city. 
There's been a lack of worthwhile challenger. Oh, fuck. Uh, it would be shockingly electric. I'm scared. Yo, fellow trainer! There's a mask in that aura of serious toughness around you and your Pokemon. Oops, sorry, I should introduce myself. Name's Flint. I'm one of the Pokemon Legion, uh, League's Elite Four. I just had this idea. Maybe you could pull it off. It's about this city's gym leader. He's really lost enthusiasm lately because they've been so few good challenges worth his time. He's so bored that he spends all his time renovating the gym. And then Blackout happened. That sure didn't help lift his mood. Fix Blackout. I need to give him a battle that's so hot it'll reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, Hotshot. You're the fire one, aren't you? You're the, you're, you're, you're the, you're the. Oh god, glass floors. Uh, that'd be creepy. But you're the. You're the. You're the. I'm gonna come back to the kid when I have age. <laughs> when I have age in bed, just to be like, suck, bitch. But, um. Shit. Act work. Shit. Do I have any TMs that are Earth? Do I have any TMs that are Earth? That I can use. Hold on. No, no. Shit. Okay, um. Wait, ground. The logical option is Aerial Ace, just on the grounds of so many other Pokemon I have have flying type moves. I mean, Vespa Queen, Beautifly, almost everyone else has flying type moves. So as so as much as Aerial Ace is dope, yeah, I mean, I think literally everyone has flying type moves. Or, or Veladier doesn't, but everyone else does. Right. Speaking of, I want to do something real quick. Um... Yeah, so you don't, but you do. Uh, I'm just gonna move this down like this. Yeah, you do. You do. You do as well. Okay, so that's all. So one, two, three, four. We had five Pokemon with a flying move. <laughs> Think it's okay to sacrifice it a little bit gonna make the fighting elite for a freaking joke but oh. that's kind of cool the roads are solar powered not sure how well that would work but uh huh Are we gonna talk about the three clone children in the corner? No, nope, we're not gonna talk about them. Oh, wait, of the world's stickers? Fuck, get me out. Wait, hold on. Oh, like Pokeball stickers. Okay, you got me. Alright, um. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you the salesman? Are you the salesman? Oh. Um, here to buy. Heart, star, blue fire, electricity. But apparently they change every day, so. That's cool. If I, like, really wanted to specifically make my Pokemon look a certain way. Um. Um. Oh. Wait, aren't you the Steel Girl? Aren't you. Er, uh, um, m my name is Jasmine, and I'm a gym leader. I'm not the gym leader of this city. I'm a gym leader in the Johto region. You're the Steel Girl, right? 
It would be nice if you knew about the Johto region. Oh, if you don't have the city's gym badge, you'll be forced to turn back. I don't remember her being that shy. Was she that shy? Before? Delightful ribbons for Pokemon. Nope. My memory is kind of half telling me something. Yeah, I wonder how well, like, this would work in real life. Obviously, there's a certain amount of, like, you know, fantasy and magic and stuff. But it's a cool idea to have roads made of solar panels. You know what I mean? Wait, isn't it what? Oh, it's a Starlax! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's a... If I had a Pokemon that needed a Thunderstone, I'd be ecstatic about that. Dials the donuts, I'm gonna go into this thing, they're gonna be like, Ah, Whippersnapper! No one ever talks to me! Fuck off! Uh... Uh... Sure... But a serious nature. I bet it changes every day. Alright, uh, quiet, naive, sassy, naive, rash, calm, quiet. <laughs> uh, nope. It probably gives you cool stuff, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna worry too hard about it. Redmus, hey! Uh, no I didn't. The Valkyrie, like, Valkyria Chronicles? I've only heard of that. Or, I've never actually played it. That's easy, thank you. That's good. Sorry, I, I, I don't mean to be insulting that I don't know the series, but you sound very excited for that, so I'm glad. What else did they announce? I feel like a lot of new games have been coming out recently. All right, are we ready? Are we, okay, who are we gonna lead with? Who are we gonna lead with? Kyojin Ba, honestly, is probably the best suited. Everyone else has a direct weakness. Veladier, probably second. Actually, no, Celophon, then Veladier, and then Tulatorn, and then Hemelnade. I think we'll be good because we have fighting, fighting, psychic, psychic, psychic. Yeah. Uh. Okay. This is one of those Sandros just dropping into cities. Like, wait, what? So you're like, you're in charge of New York, and they're just kind of like, Bleh. oh, he's not here. I bet he's at the Basil Lighthouse. But um, what? So you just like defend New York, and they're just kind of like, where, bitch? <laughs> just falls on you. That's kind of funny. All right, all right, let's get to the top. Bing bong. Sir, we don't have any power to our lighthouse. We're going to die. So you're the latest. So you're the latest challenger up against the Sunny Shore Gim. All right, I've decided. If I find you to be whack, I'm going to challenge the Hokan Ligai. I'm all done with renovating the Gim, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have battles that can thrill me again. As a tuggish gym leader and sit out, I'm going to leak everything in my arsenal on and my arse on you. Dude, I don't even know you. I just wanted a turn with the binoculars. I just want to turn the binoculars. Shit. Yeah, whatever. Alright, uh... Yeah, I guess we're just gonna... Right. Uh, no, like, an alert goes out to shelter in place or get underground. Literally, dinosaurs just explode into the area. I tell you, just like the trailer again, a giant goop orb will appear and dinosaurs start spawning out of it. That sounds ridiculous, but kind of fun. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be down. It sounds like a good time. He's finally come back, seems to be feeling a B2. I have a hunch that he recognized your toughness right away. He can't talk for shit. 
I basically get excited over the thought of battling you. Remember what you have to do, hot shot. Clint, I don't even know you. You're just an excuse to make it so I have to go somewhere. What was the point of even going to there? What was the point of even going there? on Steam and the first thing that showed up was Ghostwire pre-purchase now. I opt to... Oh, I just realized I, I have my Twitch thing up. I didn't even realize. Hopefully they're not gonna say that I, um... Who do call it? Hopefully they're not gonna say that I'm like, Oh, you're... You're... You're pumping your own numbers. Like, it does jerk off. Okay, so the first one... Okay, so Ghostwire... And then the other one was Exo Primal. Exo Primal reveal trailer. Do you, okay, so this is the IGN video. Dude, it, it looks dude looks like Genji and Warframe. I'm sorry, I just realized something did. Did, did you just dodge slime? No, don't play it now. Don't play it now. Burp. Oh. Grant. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Valkyrie Elysium, the Diofield Chronicle, Returnal, Trek to Yomi, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, All Star Battle R. God, I need to watch the new season of JoJo. Forspoken, Stranger. Okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna watch these now. Yeah, I'm not gonna turn this into a review channel. But I'll bookmark and take a look. See. They realize the Stranger in Paradise is a Final Fantasy game. The JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game looks up. I remember once upon a time hearing that they act they had like a JoJo specific like fighting game, and I always thought that sounded really cool. But you know, I never really. The previews dropped three hours ago. That explains why I was not aware of it. I don't know what I'm doing. Did it. You're welcome. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I want to win. I channel that desire through my guitar. I want to win. The desire makes my Pokemon a star. Yeah, that would explain why I was not aware of it. Yeah, I need, I need to sit down and watch the... Um, New who do you call it JoJo the new season with Jolene. I, I'll admit I haven't done that yet, but I've been wanting to actually just sit down and watch all of JoJo for a while. So just you know rewatch it because I love that anime. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. Lower my attack. Fuck you anyway. Bitch. Oh, I just realized mentally. It's, the guy is totally going to have a Luxray or whatever it's called. I'm going to have to deal with that Intimidate one way or another. Damn it. That just meant to collect. We couldn't win. No encores for us. I don't know what this does. Alright. Okay, so. But there's no other button. Oh, I didn't realize it was turning this one too. Oh. Oh. This is the toughest gym in Sinnoh. That's why I'm here to learn the best battle techniques around. I'm gonna have one Pokemon. It's just a Pikachu. That was a joke. That was a joke. Okay. Wait, Mr. Mime? 
All right, something I will say, I don't know if this is specifically with Brilliant Diamond or if this is just something they did in like, you know, Gen 4 in general. I adore that these gyms don't solely have the same one or two Pokemon or that they don't solely have the same type of Pokemon. I love these curveballs. They're so good. Like, I bet he had, I bet this Mr. Mime had like some kind of really interesting strategy. You won't see it, but I bet he had one. Um, I haven't seen a mech game in a while. I felt interested in playing. I gotcha. I'll admit, I don't really know that much about Gundam, so it's not really something I'd be looking into. I mean, the most I know about Gundam is I went to, like, the Gundam Cafe in Japan multiple times, and then the, um... I think that's it. Yeah, I went to the Gundam Cafe multiple times, and then I kind of, like, doodled around different Gundam stores. I have two little actually do I have two or three I think I have two little like models I put together I didn't even have to paint them they're literally just like little things I just... uh... that would be, uh... I love gum I love gumplas no the gum the gumpla man you big gumplas going through space sorry just... sorry just... That you say it like that, it makes me giggle. I'm, I'm sure it's the type, but I'm not gonna give you too much shit. I, I love big robo gun plus. Is, is it Gundam or Evangelion, which I've also never watched? That, um, the entire theme of it is why do we keep putting teenagers and adults in severe, like, who severely need therapy into these giant robot killing machines? Also, how long are they gonna let me keep getting away with what I'm doing right now? Uh, I watched someone on YouTube paint them using airbrush. So much attention to detail. Jeez. Yeah, I. It's a joke I've been told I shouldn't make, but I have I got shaky hands. Like I, I don't have Parkinson's, but like my hands are not steady at all. I don't know if that's something I can do. Like this meticulously painting a model, I. Oh. If I did that, it would look like shit. She said something. I don't know. I don't want to pay attention to what it was. Jeez! Aw, oh, I was hoping I would die. What the heck, Max? I'm joking. Whether you're a trainer or a guitarist, it takes dedication to improve your mad skills. And meanwhile, like, the guy in the other room is, like, listening to him, like, shredding the guitar as hard as possible. It's just like, I just want to please. <laughs> Why do I work here? <laughs> but, nah, I've... Sometimes, something... Speaking of Warhammer, which I talked about a little bit ago, something I would love to do, and is a horrible idea, is I want to get, like, one of those actually... Ex I just realized Kyoshin Bob is faster than a Raichu. Holy shit. And granted, I got, like, ten levels on you. No, I got, like, eight levels on you, but... Faster. Shit, I figured you would still outspe outsped me. But, um, I would love to get, like, a big model of something Warhammer related and just sit down and paint it. I, I don't think I would make it a stream, but I, I would love to do that sometime. I've only ever done that, I think, like, twice, and I was horrible at it. <laughs> was it a fun learning experience? Yeah, sure. But I was horrible at it. There you go. I'm not just looking for tough trainers to battle. I've been battling here because I want to feel. I never, I never feel. Oh, it's a girl. I never feel anything anymore. Alright, uh, that would be really cool. Definitely would be a fun project. Last time I did crafts, it was when Bionicle was still a thing. Most they required was perfect sticker payment. I, gall as, as, wait. Was, It's a little brutal, wasn't it, Heracross? But, um... I had to snap it on limbs using plus sharp nodes. God, I love Bionicles. I was, um... 
so me, me and Megan, we've been watching Friends for however many months now. We're on season 9 out of 10. And it was funny, one of the episodes had, um, one of the episodes had, uh, what do you call it? Just, like, some random Bionicles, like, put together in some odd custom way. And I had to pause this watch and be like, I know those! And I, like, pulled up the pictures of the original, and Megan was like, you're a nerd. <laughs> Just because I recognized it immediately, God, Bionicles were cool. But, um... I, maybe it's just me as a kid, like, there's a few things I tried to put stickers on, but eventually I just got so annoyed with them, because I could, like, never get them perfectly on, they always looked bad, so eventually I just, like, stopped putting stickers on things. Oop. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just against it. This is what the gym leader did. How do you build this person? Granted, that last guy had, like, like elevators that went like super duper high and so but um i always hated putting the stickers on just because i can never get them to look good so it'd be kind of weird how like some of the sets i had as a kid were um some of the sets i had as a kid were like very clearly there's supposed to be like little control panels or whatever but they just wouldn't be Wait, Volt Switch doesn't switch you out unless unless it hits? I didn't know that. I thought it switched you out regardless. Interesting. Bibberell? Bibberell. What's a Bibberell doing here? I love you, Bibberell. Go for a little nostalgia real quick. Y'all remember the Bakuda? This doesn't help me. Okay, so it wa that wasn't Makuta specifically, but they had those, and I freaking love those things so much. Like they had like the little like gear system in the back, so you could like hit it, and its head would go like kunk kunk. And it had like a little opening door thing that it had like a mask, and there was some dumb lore behind. It. I don't remember what it was, something about stealing souls and eating people. But um, yeah, those those things they were so cool. I love those as a kid. What was um. I don't remember the names, Sturdy. Oh, I, remember. I don't remember the names, but I remember the, um, there was the one, oh, there, was, there was the one that was like a bug that you could like pull the thing out of it and like this little like thing would go off where you could like press it down and it would go like snip snip. There was the one that was like way more boring and simple that it was just like, oh shit. Oh shit. I just want to use Rock Slide because I don't want to save on the power. Okay, and now we're going to use Pin Missile because I know Pin Missile is going to hit. Thank you. But, um... What do you call it? They had, like, the one that was, like... They had, like, really long faces and you put, like, a disc in their mouth and then, like, click in and go, like, forward. And then it would, like have arms that like walk like this or you can have like sit up right and ah they were all so cool i think i, I think my parents still have them I might have to steal them from me at some point and the uh, sleep hammer just hit me so hard if you need to go to sleep man it's all good i know we both kind of we both kind of talked about how that we have shitty sleep cycles <laughs> or that's yeah, that's the right phrase I can, the moment i start streaming all abilities for me to speak and have articulation with them. But, um, sleep schedule. Oh, sleep schedules. Yeah, that's right. Guys. But, um, I know we both kind of have, like, shitty sleep schedules, so it, it it's alright, man. Did you just, like, pass out at the computer, or what, what, what happened? 
I had to get reminded to send you back there, put in a garage bag, and don't bother to check what they were, so they got banged around up to. Oh. It's heartbreaking. Oh my goodness. Like, I, I, I recognize there's a certain amount of, like. Nah, shit. I can take a step back and recognize there's, like, a certain amount of. You know, as an adult, they're just Legos, so who cares? By the same token. I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'd be. Did I? Did I do something wrong? Did I do that? Did I can't. Mm. Oh. Alright. Well, yeah, was, I'm not entirely sure that worked out, but I did it. So, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that just for sake of simplicity, and then let's throw an elixir on Kyojin. All right. Hopefully you don't lead with the Lux Ray. You're probably going to though. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Now I'm doing the grind. It's boring. It's fucking such a struggle. Bust right to hell. Uh. uh now people still enjoy this place as an adult. And it took a bit for me to stop being sad about it, honestly. Well, I collect so many precious stones now for the most part, but I would have definitely put them on display near my computer. Oh, um, in my living room. If I could, if I could, like, grab... I just realized something. If I could grab my camera and bring it to my living room, I would show you, like... So, I, li I live with my sister. And, um, she has two bookshelves. I have one bookshelf and, like, some... And then just some single shelves. And, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of different Lego sets on there, and like a bunch of amiibos and stuff like that like i do like the display aspect of them but it feels kind of weird as an adult just on the grounds of like i'm not very good at decorating and you buy legos to play with them and you're not going to play with them so it's a little yeah i i haven't bought one in forever like what was the last time i bought an amiibo i was in japan so 2017, 2018, like, it's been a while. But there are other Amiibos I do want to get, even if they don't really have much functionality anymore. But, um, I do love them, though. I think they're great. It's just, like, a little, like... It's fun to have, like, a little... It's not really a piece of history so much as it represents a piece of history. So, really, there's no reason for me to get them whatsoever. But they're fun. Oh, I forgot what your voice was, Volker. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, all right, Kalinger. It's not often a uh, trainer manages to make it all the way to challenge me. And when they do, I've been all but boring battle. But that least. I didn't break a swear beat him. Sigurd. I am Volknir, the gym leader. <laughs> this is so weird of a voice to do. They say I'm the top gym leader in Snow, but anyway, I guess you would We'd better get this gonna. I'm just trying to pronounce every word I can wrong. This is so weird. I ape Yuria, the trainer who lul maka me remember our fun in the battle. That last one wasn't long enough. I just realized how many Pokemon does he have? What are you grinding him, by the way? Oh no, you're still doing your max level for Elden Ring, right? You are the final. You are the final. You're the final fucking gym leader, and you have four Pokemon. Amber Palm. Okay, if you had um. Wait, why Amber Palm? But um, if you had uh, something with Intimidate that activates every turn. This could be a problem, but I'm I'm pretty. Uh, I was gonna say like I'm I'm pretty big and buff enough. That I could probably just power through. Ah, uh, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm going for breakers. Oh fuck you for doing a full restore. Actually, honestly, you wasted it because 
Oh, you got the one berry. Oh, I love that. The truffle berry weakened it, and still, you killed him in one shot. Ba -da -ba -bum. Um, and I'm done with it. And then we declare that this game is not fun anymore. Damn it! I was like, quit, quit trying to volt switch on my ass. Why can't you just use magnet rise or whatever like a reasonable person? Stop using. Stab it! Stab it! Holy shit, you lived. Holy shit, you lived. I don't know, I'm, so, so, so I'm still gonna beat the shit out of you. I'm just, I'm just gonna. Yeah, you do that. You you use a hyper potion. Oh, aren't you aren't you so clever? Aren't you so amazing, bitch? <laughs> ah, damn it! Wait, guts. Does guts go off? Wait, artillery? Do I get? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. It's so gutsy that having, having a status condition boosts the Pokemon's attack stat. Well, it didn't officially notify me that guts works, so I'm just gonna assume it does. And I know you're a pure water type, so. No. I'm, I'm just. Ah, I can't. Oh, nothing lost on the game. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work right Should I get a toxic orb and hand it? Kyojimba. But then I'd have to deal with poison. Yeah, but my power would go up by 50% or whatever the same number. Nah, for right now, this is called happy little accents. But yeah, max intelligence, faith, and arcane. Okay. Irete come, get ready for my Trumpu Cardo! Ah, shit. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Ah, damn it. All right, I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna take a risk. All right, I don't remember if I roll for paralysis again while I'm underground or not. So hopefully power boosts and all. Uh -huh. It's still pretty good. Oh, come, fuck off with that. I want good berries, damn it. Joaquin, I didn't see, they see I don't know, but I'm actually talking, no, no, no. Quick break, bitch. Let's see, uh, so do you fish Elden Ring yet? No. <laughs> no okay, so, um, if you're gonna look at the map, I did the majority of the continent. I did the majority of the first continent minus the red area. Like I tried walking to the red area and I wasn't able to get very far. And um, there's one or two bosses. No, 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 that's right. It's um, there's probably some odd like um, odd dungeons that I missed or anything like that. But the ones I know for sure about is. There's a dungeon in the red zone and then just the red zone in general that I'm not done. Otherwise, I've explored most of that area and then now it's time, like Joe had said, we need to f take on the first mandatory boss, which I'm pretty excited about. Because I was told once they get past that boss, there's like a series of quests I can do to get like infinite smithing stones so I can actually upgrade my gear and then maybe I can actually get other katanas. And I've been really enjoying Elden Ring. Like, really, really. So, expect that series to go on forever. <laughs> You've got me, Biat. Your desire and the noble way. No, noble way, your Pokemon. Battle for you. I think I'm trying to sound like I'm talking backwards. I even felt thrilled during our matter. That was a very good lap down. I could try to read whatever you're saying backwards. Eh, 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 eh. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Nui wonked na e a insa. Wait, hold on. Should I just like try to say the words like I'm reading them normally backwards, or should I try to say the word battle 
Er der er ni der er vi nuf most som ja what sat this is hard jeg red svag at lige en p lige jeg team team this is hard eh if I just give me shit Hey, it kind of looks like that one Pokemon. Oh, it's a beacon because he, he runs the lighthouse. That beacon badge lets you use a hidden move waterfall for your Pokecatch. Waterfall happens to be the key for going to the Pokemon League. Also, because you put the light badges, any Pokemon in will now be without fail. I want you to take these two. I wasn't paying attention. To it. If it's Volt Switch, I'm going to make funnier. Charge Beam! Oh, shit. Charge Beam's a genuinely good move. Sure, it doesn't have the busting power of Thunderbolt, but raising your special attack every turn is pretty great. It's right up there with, like, um, I forgot to silence my phone already. It's right up there with, like, um, Flame Charge. Hang on, just... Hang on a second. I gotta go. I gotta go check something. I gotta go check something real quick. Yeah. There we go. Sorry. You know when you get like a message from Amazon, so you're like, hey, maybe I should grab that so that way no one steals it. So live oh shit. Wait a sec, is this a blue? Oh. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, dope. Oh shit. Who wants to install a new camera right the fuck now? Nah, we can wait till later. Um This will help me stream the Oculus. This will help me stream the Oculus Rift. This will also help me stream the Oculus Rift. This is a new camera. Alright. And some blackout curtains. To make it so when we can stream the Oculus Rift, when you can stream the Oculus Rift, the um, lighting will look a little better. Yeah, who wants to install a new camera right now? It's uh, it's kind of my gift for myself for my birthday. Um, theoretically, what? Theoretically, it should still give the same crisp, whatever you want to call it. Um, Footage, or camera, whatever, bullshit, shit man, I can't talk. Why can I never talk the moment I start streaming? Probably because I wake up for a job at 5 a.m. I don't end streaming until like 10 or 11, so I'm always going on like a deficit of sleep. Thank you, picture. It should still be a 1080p picture, but, 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 but. yeah, it should be enough. Um, it should be 60 frames per second. So a little better in that regard. Uh, how many revives? Oh, we have a ton of revives. Uh, we don't want any repels. We got 13 revives. It's probably good enough. Okay, um, let's buy like four of these. Let's buy that many of those. Buy that many of these. Let's buy this many of these. Max, this is unnecessary. I'm gonna buy this many of these. Boom. But um, I would still like to preface the statement of um, Resident Evil 4 Oculus 
Uh, I don't know exactly when. I don't know exactly when we're gonna do that. I haven't. I haven't really sat down and done the research for how to make it so I can. The main thing now with those two items. So with those two items, we should be able to stream the Oculus. But if we stream, I won't be able to see chat. That's the problem. I will not be able to see chat. So, we're going to have to... I have to figure out a way to make it so I can look at chat while playing. That or, um... That or what I'm going to have to do, and this is a terrible and janky idea. I'm going to... I'm just... Oh, and I also have to make, make it so I can hear my computer. So that way if there's any notifications. Like, I, I need to make it so I can see notifications, so if anyone follows or anything, I can, like, say thank you. And, um, so I can actually respond to chat. Uh, supposedly there's a way to make it so all chat goes through a text-to-speech, but that doesn't sound like a good idea, so I'm not gonna do that. Because immediately people will use that shit. Uh, it's next to the sea, and there's a lighthouse. Oh, that's the city's gym badge. She must be very good. Er, um, p please take these two. Sure, what is it? Oh. Uh. Oh, thank you. Can, does anyone? Does anyone I have learn? Damn it! Fucking no one. No one fucking. Shit, oh. Tentacool. Tentacruel. Ooh. Now I kind of want to install the new camera. Not gonna lie. Alright. Max. Oop. Max, now's not the time and place for it. And it's fucking Pokemon. Do you know how easy it is to do other stuff while playing Pokemon? I can't get the Pokemon. I have a knife. I have a knife. <laughs> Get my ass kicked by a boss. Just destroy my warranty. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Alright, that was pretty easy. Hold on, we gotta we got stop this unboxing video. Oh. What? What's the point? What's the point of this? Why have like a little sandbar? That's so weird. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Maybe it's like if you want to heal or something, but you can already heal and do whatever. I'm breaking your new camera already. Hey, I paid for it. It's my birthday. I can cry if I want to. That's not. Well, that is how the song. That is how the song goes, but. Doesn't mean it's what I want to do. Alright, uh. Brick, brick. Oh shit. This is a little awkward. This camera has a USB C as a plug in instead of the Tradish USB. Maybe it's maybe it has like that so you can like use your Oh I just realized Kyoshi Bot's old 55. <gasps> yes! Fuck yes! Fuck yeah! Using its tough and impressive horn, the user rams into his target with no let up. Uh, sure, it's less accurate, but uh, it's 120 fucking base power. Fuck yeah! Right, uh, maybe this thing? Oh, it's a little, it's a little nutty. For what? Eh, probably the same. Alright, so this is a little weird that I don't have a. Well, wait, no, I think. I think my L has a USB-C plug-in. I think so. It's got a... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on. There you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. I should Maybe I should have done it closer to the mic so you could have heard the sound better. I'm a fool. <laughs> this is why no one on Twitch likes me. Because <laughs> I'm just being an absolute shitter. I love- have I ever said that I love the term shitter? <laughs> like, I spent five- excuse- excuse me for wearing my bikini. 
You're in the ocean. Whatever, whatever, whatever you freaking want. But, um, like, I exist. I exist. On Twitch. Five fucking seconds. And I'm just already losing everything. Ah, uh, there it is. Alright. You probably heard that stuff by the burp. Yeah, it's true. I'm... Aww. That's very kind of you to say. I want you to know that. Alright. So, fair warning. I'm gonna be playing with some camera settings. So, if for whatever reason I start looking really weird, that's why, okay? Um, I don't know what camera is actually being used right now. What camera is actually being used right now? Uh, Logitech stream cam. Okay. You're a fairy. Which means nothing I have is effective. You're a rock Um, so camera. Game capture. Nope, we're going to deactivate. Logitech stream cam. Oh, god. Okay, three, two, one. It's going to... I'm way lower than I should be. <laughs> uh, I'm way lower than I should be. Uh... That, 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 you're also way darker. I am way darker. It's because I got a tan. Okay, but... It looks nicer. Yeah, the color is... The color is different. Um, hang, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll fix this. Woo, whoop. Now I need to... There. How's that look, everyone? Now we just gotta... Center it just a little bit. Now the question is, does it show up on my stream that I stream in 60 frames per second? I think the camera's better auto-adjust. It might. It comes back pretty fast. Uh. See, a new camera looks no different. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what it always comes down to, right? I remember when I learned that um, the editing software I have can edit in um, can edit in 4K, and I thought that was so cool. And then, still like a dumbass, I started making videos in 4K. And then I had the realization of, wait a second, if you have a if I'm recording not in 4K, then there's no point. Or if no one's watching in 4K, there's no point. So what's the difference? <laughs> So then I switched back to whatever I was doing, 1080 or whatever. And I felt particularly dumb about myself for about a week. But I was so excited because I could do stuff in 4K. But yeah. So. Wait, uh. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, so I think this one has better auto adjust. Because yeah, that's something I'm noticing too. Like the other one, when I did this. It would like freak out for like a hot minute and I'd have to like sit there and like turn it on and off and stuff like that. This one seems to be just like, doesn't give a shit. I just realized I've been training Kyojinba without really thinking about it. He's like way over level compared to everyone else. I need to, I need to switch him out and just, just realize that. No one else really has anything protective against any water types though, but we might go up against some psychics. So that would that would suggest having someone that has a psychic type move. So let's put in. Oh, then oh, she's he's not or she is a she. She's not too far ahead. Let's do Veladier. Because Veladier is a bitch compared to everyone else. I'm sorry, it's true. Ground type moves, protect, spell tag. We don't have. 
holder bloated and slow movement? We don't have like 90% of those. Ah, that's annoying. I guess I'll just keep handing you berries. But, um. Let's see. Oh, hopefully, it looks better now. I know you said my skin tone shows up better, but I don't know if that is like. Yo. Hey, Max, your skin. Oh, let's do, it. Let's do the screen real quick. Like, hey, Max, your skin tone shows up better. Now you're okay. This does make me happy, because it's a nice upgrade, right? Anything to make things look a little nicer, right? Okay, so I'm gonna flash something in front of the screen, and we'll see what happens, okay? That's pretty dang seamless. Like, look how, look at There you go, you'll never, you'll never see me invisible. Well, now I can't see the game, but. But like, look how fast that is. Oh, that makes me happy. I'm sorry, th this isn't me trying to... N now I feel like I'm like... All right, so this one's dark, this one's a dark green, so it just kind of comes up as... It just kind of comes up as like... Yeah, I mean, you can kind of still tell it's green, but it's like the green goes away, so it's more of a turquoise. So that's good to know, I can wear that shirt on stream. Yeah, honestly, yeah, that's what this comes down to. <laughs> Like, I promise I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just excited that I have this, so now I'm playing with it. And as Jailwood says, I am too dangerous to be left alive. <laughs> Sorry, of course, my first, you say that, my first thought is, yeah, the further back you go, the more I'm ass. And the further forward you go, the more I'm a shitter. So, however you interpret that. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I think it looks better. Meanwhile, this swimmer is like doing everything in his power to fight me, and I'm just like not even paying attention to him. He's like, I'll use my man team. We've trained together in the Olympics for at least five minutes. All right, looks nice and even. Looks nice and even. Good. We got a good spacing. Sorry. Sorry. Now, setting up the, uh, who should we call it? Setting up the Oculus on stream. That I can't do on stream, because I'm gonna, first off, I'm wearing pajama pants right now. If I do this, you can pretend you can almost see my foot. There you go. Kept it off camera the whole time. Max, I bet that rule isn't as stringent as you think it is. I don't know, I was told it was stringent. Wait, did you say no crash or wake? What the fuck? Wait, uh, wait, wait, what did you say? I think you just referenced a bunch of different gym leaders. That's cool. All right, um, yeah, we'll keep you two in. That shit. Whatever. But, sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm off, I'm off. Let's see, uh, yeah, that's good. It's, well, I know a streamer whose partner is partner. Oh, like partnered on Twitch. I was just oh, kidding. Um, who had, that was a critical. Well, I guess I guess Tetra Cruel does have like stupid high special plans. So. Because a redeem where a high heal goes across screen in slow motion, but that one side goes oh yeah from high heal. A little more lax than you think. Honestly, I just I just like bringing it up because it's funny to me. You know the thing of like, for every rule, there has to be something that caused the need for that rule. But um, for example, every time you like, go to like a Goodwill. Yeah, I know, right? 
was still funny. It, it, it was cringe, but I could help but like, okay, was it was it kind of creepy in the moment? Yes. Did I immediately after that stream tell a whole bunch of people that that happened to me? Yes. <laughs> She's like, Megan's reaction of like, someone asked to pay to see your feet? And I'm like, I know, right? <laughs> oh, it was funny. Oh my goodness. I know it shouldn't be funny, but it was. Um, I'm just gonna psychic you. Whatever. And then, um, aerial A. Uh, I'll, 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 oop. Nope. Um, I'll just, I'll just slash you. Whatever. Ah, yeah. oh, it's funny though. But, um. Oh, so you know how, like, Goodwills, uh, Goodwills and stuff, they'll have signs that, like, this is not a bathroom. This is a changing room. Do not go to the bathroom in here. And you see that, and I don't know about you, but all I can think of is like, who's the person that made it a requirement that that has to be on the door? Who in their right mind walked into a changing room and was like, oh my goodness, I really gotta go to, the, I, re I really gotta go take a dump. And you know, to put it politely, I, 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 you know, I really gotta go take a dump. And they walk in and they're like, shit, this is a changing room. This isn't an actual room. Oh well. And they just do it anyway. It, it's like that. Almost people. But like, it's so clearly not a bathroom. I don't understand. That's something I've never understood. But, um. So weird seeing Bulba. Because it strikes me you could just as easily go into like a regular store. You could just as easily go into like a regular store and just use their public bathroom. But you know, maybe there isn't one nearby where they are. I, I, I. Probably, yeah, I shouldn't poke so much fun. But I'll be cruel and say sometimes when I see those signs, I can't help but giggle because who's the person who started that first? kind of a deal so when I see the rule on Twitch that probably isn't as like you know super super stringent as I think it is of hey whatever you do don't show feet on Twitch oh shit all I could do is just stop and be like and it moves at two <laughs> oh like the um like the one scene from Austin Powers where the guy's like, oh no! It's like the slowest moving steamroller. And like the guy doesn't move out of the way and he just gets slowly and agonizingly right. <laughs> oh, um, I have to choose someone else. Ah, let's choose Zaki. Fuck it. Remember. Ragsire? God, I wish I chose someone with a grass attack. Those are the signs of. Yes, some, somewhere, somehow, someone made a fatal error, and as a result, air slash does not hit both. I keep thinking it does. Somewhere, somehow, someone made a fair, fatal error, and as a result, you had to put the sign there. Makes a game think about it. Nah, no, maybe it was just me. Maybe I'm incredibly cruel as a person, and I'm an asshole, and I'm willing to accept that willing to accept that about myself. <laughs> Why have I not been removed from Twitch? I should try harder to remove No, I shouldn't. <laughs> well, that's not gonna hit. Wait, no, no, Muddy Water is a water type move, so that works out. Right, yeah. You know, obviously we, this isn't me saying people being hurt is funny. It can be, you know, tragedy plus, plus time. Whatever, but no, it's not me encouraging people to hurt wars. And I'm, Red Rose, I'm sure you you don't think that way, but I imagine someone out there is gonna be like, <gasps> cancel Max. How dare he? My great grand uncle was ran over by a sign or by a vehicle that moved one miles per hour when he fell asleep drunk. You should have more respect. I'll shush. 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 I'll sh
This feels really weird that, like, I'm actually the color I look like and not like I'm colored. Yeah. We don't support fatal injuries for comedic relief. Do I? What fatal injuries do I support for comedic relief? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm the mood. It's sort of part of the TO. <laughs> Jeff Bezos says I'm not allowed to laugh too hard when people get hurt. <laughs> No, of course not. I'm not sitting here and advocating for people to get hurt and stuff. Sure, we all like slapstick comedy, but no, of course not. That being said, Tom and Jerry is still one of the best. Oh, damn it. Tom and Jerry is still one of the best old style cartoons out there. Actually, not actually, but most boomerang stuff in general was super good. But I think about it, like, I didn't really watch that much of it. Like, um, Tom and Jerry was the main one. I didn't have Boomerang on very much for as as a kid. Oh. Might not look it, but I'm traveling now. Oh, God. I've seen tons of clips of Popeye, but I've never actually sat down and, like, watched it. You know what I mean? But I've I have no doubt in the world. Just that era of cartoons is so good. Yeah, Pinky in the Brain. Nice. That's another one. That um was that still under Boomerang? Once again, seen clips, never actually sat down and watched it. Yeah, because I, I remember all sorts of clips being like, ah, yeah, yeah, what you doing over there? And then, yeah, like, I remember actually, like, stopping and listening to some of it. And apparently, like, most of it is just ad libbed, or however you want to say it. And it's just the best. <laughs> wonder if they ever, like, released any, like, you know, whatever, anniversary, blah, 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 but they have like an option to have subtitles for whenever Popeye talks. God, that'd be funny. Oh, oh damn it. Look, I. <sighs> Fuck off, Pelipper! If I had lightning type moves, I would be so happy every time I see one of you bastards, okay? Like, I would be like, Fuck yeah, another Pelipper. Let's go, and I would just get crazy amounts of experience, but oh, okay. Ralph was hilarious. <laughs> I don't okay, a lot of Ed and Eddie I feel like was kind of like weird. Even as a kid watching it, there was part of me that was kind of like, what? There was part of me with some bits of Ed and Eddie that I was just kind of like, this is a little weird. But then there were other parts that were just absolutely phenomenal, and Ralph is. <laughs> This roasted game was ahead of his time. We're going to make an all grown up version. There's a cult following if you're trying to push the one. I don't know if I would. I mean, I guess it would just be like an adult swim version, right? Granted, I'm not really good at keeping up with adult swim stuff in general. So, you know, maybe I shouldn't be the, um,. Maybe I shouldn't be the one who declares yay or nay, if that'd be a good idea. But yeah, a lot of, I feel like a lot of its humor was kind of like self-contained in like its time and error, if you will. So... It works in the local theme store, Rolf has a Ferrari. <laughs> of course Rolf would have a Ferrari. <laughs> Grows up like the weirdest, like... You know, the weirdest farm kid out of like out of place in the world, and then he's just like, "Ah, yes, it boy." <laughs> Can't even do his voice. The proper investments. <laughs> he just has like the amazing. Thing. Wait, this is some random wild, wild man pike. Uh, whatever. I'll just slip on you. Ah, uh, yup. Jeez. See, Veladier is almost eh, nice. Veladier is almost out of ammo, so we're gonna have to switch him out. 
I think for nostalgia factor, a ton of people would check it out. Like, I mean, okay, I've, I, I don't really like nostalgia bait or when things are very clearly nostalgia bait. I always find that kind of annoying. But in my gut, I'm, in my gut, I'm pretty dang sure if they made a, uh, if they made an Eddie and Eddie spinoff. No, I did not. No, I did not. That was another show. I remember being like, some episodes were like really good, and some episodes were just weird. Huh? So wait, hold on. So the whole premise of Kids Next Door, I forget. Was it once you turn 13, you can no longer be a kid? Because then you're a teen, and like teens were a lot of the villains, and, but adults were a lot of the villains too. So how would they do a? How would they do a sequel? Or would it be like, uh, would it be like they're the, like they're the cool kids or cool friends? Uh, Nigel Uno's girlfriend, Lizzie, was actually an alien who was a member of the Galactic Kids Like Ghost, and the teens who you thought were Axe worked in it. <laughs> okay, granted, that show was pretty ridiculous in its own right. But, oh yeah, casually, by the way, uh, Nigel Uno's girlfriend, Lizzie, wasn't that number four? Was actually an alien. But cartoon, it, ah. I have a fun idea, though. Lizzie wasn't an operative on Earth. Of course. <laughs> I don't, like... Hearing you say that, I'm just kind of, that's all I can think of, I'm just being like, right. Okay. A lot of weird in that statement. Granted, the, maybe it was just me, the episode that stuck with me, or it was like a series of episodes that stuck with me the most. I forget if it was like a finale of a, is he drowning? I just heard, I just saw him go blug, blug, blug. Just let me float away like <laughs> Um, it was like some big scary finale, and it was basically, I, what was it? It was father, but it's an animal who is the president of the and orders not to destroy Earth, so it was going to be a mini-series about him finding a way to stop it. But, yeah, because the delightful kid, or from down the lane or whatever they're called. Those are the five that are like stuck together, right? They were creepy as all get out. But um, their dad, father, it was about his father, which I forget if he had a name, if it was his grandfather or grandpa or whatever it was. But he was creepy and he had a plan to like, turn everyone on earth into old people. It was genuinely scary as a kid. <laughs> Apparently a lot of characters in the end of the show were going to be hidden operatives. <laughs> and I feel like if that like if that did actually like Yeah, obviously like you said, it was X. But if it came out fully, I might watch it for like a little bit of nostalgia, but I don't know if I would stick with it. That's kinda of what I mean with like that and anything that like Solely due to nostalgia bait, it would attract a ton of people. But attracting a ton of people is not the same as being a successful show. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's... It's real weird real quick. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Got a per... Ah, damn it. I thought I was done with the water. All right, let's go. I came out here because I wanted to see the Pokemon League for myself. Did you see his eyes? His eyes were dead inside. They don't look dead now, Zachariah, but they did, they did earlier. The director of the show had all the original voice actors come in and voice the sketchbook preview of the next chapter, so I'm apparently took that sketchbook to try to animate themselves. Uh, that's cool. You'd think there'd be legal reasons why you can't do that, but still, that's cool. 
Munchkies. They did it for free, that's how much the cats wanted to keep it. Oh. And Cartoon Network said, no, we have to make... I don't know what the modern day shows are. Apparently the, um... What's the show with, like, the blue cat and, like, the orange goldfish? <laughs> so no, we wouldn't make enough money. Yeah, apparently that one's good. I don't know, I haven't watched Cartoon Network stuff in forever. So, if there's any amount of, like, how in tune is Max with the culture of that, I'm not. I'm just straight up, I'm not. At all. God, they had some good shows. Yeah, welcome to the nostalgia episode. It's very low tension, no plots that really fall into other episodes. It's funny for what it was, though. <laughs> I guess maybe they just see it like on memes on Reddit and stuff, which makes me think, like, you know, am I really gonna watch a show because people keep making memes of it? Yeah, probably. It wouldn't, it, you know. <laughs> My favorite kind of guy is someone that looks good out on the open sea. Someone who isn't a bitch that rides on a bibberel. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm bitch. But I'll admit, I haven't really been digging into it. I think the last show that you could call, like, uh, it sounds so pretentious when you say a cartoon versus an anime because, like, that line is so unbelievably blurred. But, like, what was the last, like, that would pro- Okay, let me define it as something that would probably be aired on, like, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, or Disney, whatever it's called. Was, um, Legend of Korra, and, um, yeah, it would be- it would be Legend of Korra and Gravity Falls. And I enjoyed Gravity Falls, but that was pretty good. Right, right, of course, that'd be Nickelodeon. I just mean, like, that's- because, you know, those cha those two channels are always, like, bundled with each other, and they're always, like, competing, which is a good thing. But, um, that's not... Well, y yes! I, I mean, like, that era, that that grouping, that... You know what I mean? I, I don't know that you would say it's cartoons. It's like, oh, but Korra is an in-depth enough story, so it's just considered an anime. It's like, wow. Well, no. Someone's gonna, someone's gonna be a rules lawyer and be like, technically, Gumball is an anime because one person on its screen was from the Japan or something. <laughs> or for adults that actually had butts. I think a good mark of like a lot of the older cartoons and um, SpongeBob. It sounds weird to say SpongeBob did this very well, but um, a lot of the episodes of SpongeBob had a lot of jokes or gimmicks or ideas or whatever you want to call it. Like, you know, very clearly, SpongeBob is meant for kids, right? But it had a lot of things in it that you wouldn't get unless you're an adult. Same with Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents was incredibly good at that. There are so many jokes in that show that you don't really get as a kid. But as an adult, you're like, oh my goodness. Yep, Dexter's Laboratory, same thing. What was one of the ones from, um, literally whenever Timmy's parents show up. Oh, Jimmy Neutron, the same thing. Whenever, or whenever Timmy's parents, Jimmy's parents, Mr. Krabs and Plankton and Squidward a lot of the time, Dexter's parents, they would just say things that as a kid you'd just be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, no big deal, it's just whatever. Now, you could tell it's a joke, but you don't really get it. And then as an adult you see it and you're like, oh my goodness. What was the one that, um, that Timmy's dad said? They were in the, they were in the attic and they were, like, trying to find something. Uh, I don't, I don't remember that one, to be honest. Yeah, I feel bad. But, um, I'm just gonna, gonna get drink. But what was it? There, it was Timmy and his dad were in the attic looking for something. I don't even remember what. Oh, shit! Okay, I didn't see that coming. I might need to switch out. Yep. 
Where's the chat? Where's the chat, buddy? I forgot about Liquid Ooze. I thought you had clear body. Tulip Tor would be fine. But, um... They're searching for something. There's, like, this little glass box that, um... That... Uh, what was it? He's like, hey, Dad, what's this? He's like, oh, that box is... They're like, that box is where I put all my hopes and dreams for the future. And it's like, oh, wow. And then he, like, drops it on accident. <laughs> he's like, oh, oh, my goodness. Dad, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. And he's like, it's okay, son. Don't worry about it. My hopes and dreams were shattered long ago. <laughs> he's like, whoa, really? How long ago? How old are you? And he just, like, stares for a second. And then they move on. Like, nothing happened. <laughs> just shit like that. I adore that. <laughs> Like, I, I think that if you're going to, like, make a mark of what makes a good cartoon, right? If we were going to, like, make a definitive listing. For a second, the background looked like aircraft carriers. If we were going to make, like, a diff... Oh, wait, shit. Um, I just realized Kevaldade is leading. Uh, I can probably outspeed you and it'll be neutral, but I bet I can get the drain. Yeah, it'll be neutral, but I have high enough special attack. I bet I can just kind of giggle drain or gig giggle drain and just power through you. Okay, that's a critical hit, so it's gonna take at least two to go the rest of the way. But um, yeah, if we were gonna make a definitive list of like which cartoons are best, of which I'm not an expert at all, I think that would have to be part of the scoring, like. How well does this, how well does this anime hold up as an adult? And not just like in a nostalgia glasses, you know, you grab yourself a bowl of cereal and you pretend that you're a kid again, just like watching it, right? But no, like legitimately as an adult, do the jokes hold up? And not without being overtly weird about it either, you know what I mean? Like, we're gonna make a pingus joke. Do you only know Scary Face? Like, we're gonna make a pingus joke out of nowhere, or we're going to reference sex because, haha, ha, that is humor. But no, like, genuinely well thought out jokes. And that kind of goes into the cartoon versus an anime thing, because intended audiences, well, there are cartoons that you. Like, I, if I was gonna. Do, if you, like, held a gun to my head and you're like, alright, Max. Difference between, the difference between cartoons and anime go. I'd say intended audiences, but because of those jokes, it kind of blurs the line. Kind of thing. Darpa. Kapush. Oh no, he found. <laughs> Did you drown? If you don't know how, I'm willing to show you how to swim. I'm a shitty swimmer, so I'd, I'd be willing to take up on that. Bibarel! <laughs> Oh, God, I've... He didn't turn upwards, he just walked up that shit. I never actually sat down and watched Ren and Stimpy, but I've seen a few episodes of it, and it's... weird. It, it is... It is weird. As a show. In a good way? I think. What was it? The, the Happy Happy Joy Joy, I think was the one that I watched forever ago. Courage the Cowardly God, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog is the same way though. Like, is this a kid show? Yes. How much are we trying to emotionally scar, uh, scar the adult, uh, the adults and children in the room? Yes. <laughs> it was. It was a great show. No doubt in the. No doubt in the world. It was. Or no doubt in my mind. God, really? The moment I start streaming, my ability. To, I promise, English is my first language. Um. There's no doubt in my mind, Courage was a wonderful show, but it was scary in a lot of ways. It was a genuinely horrifying show. I think I see ya. Yeah, he was creepy. He was super creepy. What was the one that, um, I don't even think this is one of the more iconic episodes of Courage, but it's one that always stuck with me. Um, the one where, like, um, their feet would get, like, super, super gross. And then eventually the foot would just grow and, like, consume the entire body and, like, all the toes were faces kind of a thing. Like, that was... 
Yeah. Little 12 year old Max, or however old I was watching, is like. <laughs> like, just genuinely scared of it. And then all, like, the weird, unexplained things that would just keep happening in the show, like, um. The computer that would insult courage whenever he used it, mixed with, I think it was a barracuda. It was like, oh shit, you're actually passing. It was like a barracuda in the, um. Congratulations, you have Swarm. That's gonna help you. There you go. Um, like the Barracuda that would like come out of the bathtub and speak like words of wisdom in this like genuinely soft and kind voice. But every time it came up, it was more disturbing than anything. That show was God, that show was weird. Good Adventures of Bill and, Man <laughs> Billy and Mandy were like, Every other sentence was, our goal is now to creep you out. That's not true. It was just super dark. It was just incredibly dark humor. Great show. Loved it. Uh, but I identified with Billy when he had, um, I don't remember what the, damn it. Fuck this guy. Um, oh shit. Does Hex work? Excuse me. I think it does. Um, identify with Billy when he accidentally had a giant spider who was like, you're my dad. Okay, is our cutter still disabled? Okay. Um, who do you call it? Yeah, he accidentally had a giant spider as a son, and he just kept yelling at that spider to die. And meanwhile, that spider was like genuinely kind and friendly. It's like, Father, uh, Father, I baked you some banana bread so that you would love me. It's like, I just want you to die. And then Grim, with his Jamaican accent, like purposefully adding years to the spider's life <laughs> just to freak out Billy. Oh, it was so good. This is the. Oh, shit. This is the nostalgia episode. 100% this is the nostalgia episode. Alright, we could probably have Giga Drain him by design. But that is a rock type move. On one side, I want to run away from all these like random fights. But on the other side, I know we're gonna need the experience because traditionally, if I remember correctly, the gym is level. The gym leaders are, or no, the champion is like level 65. Traditionally, so I gotta we, we, we gotta pump up our levels. So we're like pushing 55. I think we're the level of like the lowest of the elite four. So we gotta get to like 65. If I wasn't two times resistance to that shit, I'd be scared, but I'm not. So. Nice! I'll have to sit down and watch that. Thank you for doing that. We're already in decent enough experience, too, so that's a blessing. Alright. Hopefully, hopefully the next thing we fight is like a grappler or something. Ah, that's not quite what I meant. What is with this game and Steelixes? Like seriously, this game has a love affair, I swear, with Onyxes and Steelixes. Like I know they're cool, but geez. Yeah, I know, I know game, I know! There you go. That didn't do as much as I was hoping. Uh, hopefully you don't know a rock type. I'm a flying type. Why would you... I'm a flying type. I... I... I, I, I don't... I don't do this. I think people are... Like I need to call them. It's fine. 
That will burn Club City once. Oh, it's about 6 now. Someone did it on an anime at the last half of themselves. So I pushed it over to get cut from the reason. I'll see him for the last six years. Remember, so I still want to do that thing. Hey. Alright, uh, that guy's, a, that guy's a flying trainer. Yeah. What's up, bitch? I keep batting so I can soar even higher into the skies. This is a very low ceiling, though, so it's rather unfortunate. Knocked out. <laughs> We're probably just gonna slash and just power through. Yeah, we'll just slash and power through. Bitch. Yeah, one more and you should be out. Especially with the recoil you'll get from that. Not much, but it's enough to make sure this next slash kills you. Zeragin, get in there. Get in there, I need you. I completely forgot that you had Power Gem. I completely forgot you had Power Gem. Alright. Aerial Ace. Shit! Okay, we could probably take... We could barely take two. Why would you use Close Combat? Why? Why? Why would you use Close Combat? There is... Quite literally, no reason in the world for you to use that. And God, the computer really is dumb sometimes. Like, I wonder how much it does on its purpose. Like, it wants things to be hard, but it doesn't want you to lose. So I wonder how much auto correct there is to that, or if it's really just like it picks randomly. It seems I've been grounded. What do you mean a TAS run? Because I, re I remember seeing one thing once that like, um, the way the AI works is that no matter what, they will always use a move if it's like considered super effective. So you could like cheese some fights like, um, what was it? I think it was, uh, I think it was, um, Whatever his name is, the guy with the uh, four Dragonites that are underleveled, that you could, like, um, because they knew agility, which is considered a psychic move, you could send in a level one Weedle. You could send in a level one Weedle, and, um, like, it would, they would continue to use agility because it would believe that it's a psychic type move, so therefore it would use it because it's super effective. And you could beat like half their dragon knights or something like that. I will not pretend to remember precisely how that. Went. But um, when you say tool assisted, so I assume that's more than just like safe stating and stuff, right? You could like look at what their team is and stuff. Or what? What all do you mean by tool assisted? I guess it was fun to hear that. I'm 
Yeah, this is you're so loud. Oh shit, you lived. He was like, oh my goodness, you stole my health. Ice beam thing. If anything, though, this does bring me back to the ranch that I've had every time we play Pokemon. Of, um, when I come to power and I'm put in charge of a Pokemon game, I want there to be a difficulty setting. And it's not gonna be like insane, but it's gonna be, hey, people's teams are gonna be a little more well thought out, and they are actually either gonna go into a fight with the strategy or try to apply some kind of strategy to it. Let's see. Um, are you a normal type or are you very. Uh, I'll find out in a second. Right, I might just say, uh, essentially, the AI rules an undesirable outcome on that who reloads the stage. He's trying, but on your end, the AI is done. Bell where the AI is just seen that completely messed up. I wasn't paying attention. She did say that that was super effective. Jeez. That was a critical hit. Uh, I'm going to switch in. Do special defense. So it's more just like, so it's more, it's not so much like doing it as a challenge or something, but seeing like how much you can screw with the AI in order to like make it a speed run and do like the ultimate optimal path kind of a deal. If I'm understanding this, jeez. Dude, can we fight more, can we fight more Blissies? Holy shit. So that's how you battled. Can we fight you more? Oh my goodness. That was a lot of experience. Damn. Well, that's kind of more what I was expecting. Go back. That's kind of fun, though, to like... I mean, at that point, you know, you can make an argument for, um, are you really playing the game? But if you're kind of going in with the mindset of our goal is to break the game, Oh god, I forgot how painful Victory Road can be. Oh, there's something else in the path. I don't know, that so Hey, Graveler! Uh... Right, yeah, yeah. Like, I, me I remember seeing a video of someone, like, wanting to beat a, beat a game, I forget which Pokemon game, um, with only Ditto. So I imagine TAS kind of helps set that up, so that way, like, yo, the first three Pokemon you choose, you know, is one of them. Or like, yo, lo like you said, lock your experience at level five, that kind of a thing. So I, I can definitely understand like why people would do it. I guess it's not the best that kind of thing. And yeah, that that totally makes sense. You know, you would want them. Wasn't there some big controversy not too long ago about some guy who was like a Minecraft YouTuber and he had like a very, very subtly modded version of Minecraft that made it so you could like speed run it? And it was like a big deal. And I don't pay attention to that shit. I don't know which way is the right path, but I'm gonna make an assumption that since those two ledges are facing towards this way. There we go. I got a Bidoof and a Bibrel following me around. What's the point of those jumps? Uh, I don't have a move to one hit you, so I'm just gonna... If Hemelnade had a Psychic or a Rock-type move, then I would, but, um... Yeah, I think if go bats, it's easier just to run. Hang on. Yee. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I remember watching... I forget if I've talked about this before, but it was a fascinating video. It was um, 
Someone modded. Oh. Someone modded Super Mario 64 so that, I think the first video they did, it was, they had one person, I don't think he was award winning or anything, but he was, um, he was prominent in the, super, oh shit, he was prominent in like the Super Mario 64 speedrunning community, and they asked him if he'd be willing to do a fun challenge, and it was basically... They made it so 10 people could play Super Mario 64 on the same game versus a speedrunner. And they wanted to see, like, I forget what the time limit was. If it was just get the most amount of stars or, like, first to 40 or, you know, something. something. Something to that effect, right? But it was fascinating watching him just, like, do these perfect flips and doing these perfect things just to get to the star the fastest. And... Da, 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 while everyone else was like, you know, some of them played Super Mario 64 before, but none of them were like, experts. And like, um, I think ultimately, God damn it. I think, ult um, it, it was an emulator, I imagine, just because it was 20 people playing, or it was 10 people playing online. They did another video with 20 people, which I thought was funny. But um, yeah, so I imagine, I imagine some kind of emulator. But just seeing how fast someone can move through, I thought was just really, really cool. Uh, yeah, I remember, um, what was the other ones? People playing, um, like Mario Party. Uh, look, I'm just trying to get to that fucking item and these guys are literally showing up every two steps like what the heck like this is this is getting really annoying but I don't want to stop killing them because I need the experience I'm just trying to figure out how to get to that one item I haven't done that yet but I've considered setting that up good all that for that there you go and then probably this way uh, uh. there we go. and then uh, you well lucky you tells me you're a real contender See, playing the older Mario Party is that way sounds really fun. I still wish to tell we'd do a remaster that. Yep. It, you know it's still like hotcakes too. Just like, uh, I forget. Mario Party 1 and 2 were on Nintendo 64? Or did 3 get made on 64 as well? I don't remember. But, um. I forget how many Mario Party are too. Isn't that like. Yeah, because they have Mario Party 10, right? And they also have the car. I also just mentally clicked that I'm going up to get some back of that, so <laughs> flinch please. Why you dumb shit? Why would you do that? You have every advantage. Just use flame charge. I know you know it. I would I'd be willing to bet five sub dollars that you know flame charge. Why would you not use it? But um Yeah, just like Mario Party Remake 1 through 5 and then change nothing other than just make it so, hey, there's online compatibility. And they're just walking away. You know that shit would sell like hotcakes. And then I would get to sit here and have another discussion with you guys about why emulation is okay. Right? Is it a 1 through 5 right now? Because then, then they had like the one that came out with the Switch that had the custom dice. And then another one came out, and I don't remember what it was called. I don't remember. 
I didn't really grow up with the GameCube, so I I cannot confirm that, to be honest. But um, not sure. I'd have to Google it. Uh, also, remember how I was concerned that um, Pooch would call it that Heracross would fall behind in levels. He's already starting to fall behind. Or that he was like pushing too far ahead in levels. Uh... Wait. But now I just blocked myself. But I couldn't go down this way. I just blocked myself. Looks like I said, this path is there. They want it so you can exit and then Come back. Ah, damn it. Don't I have more repels? No, Max. No, you don't. Lovely. Right, maybe, maybe now that I'm off the bike, it'll feel more forgiving. Ah! I could tap this. Cool, but I'd be down to Mario Party Royale and all I mean I guess that would just depend on how they would do the remake. Like if you if you were gonna remake because I was talking about literally don't even touch them, just leave them. Like, the most you do is make sure it works with online, and maybe if there's any, like, bugs. Remove the bugs. You know what I mean? But, um... Isn't that what the goal of the, um... I forget which one it was. The, uh... Well, they had the, they had the one all-star pack, which I never got. Okay. Oh, I'm dumb. I was gonna say like, how am I supposed to get past those two rocks? It makes no sense. No, that other rock is a. Is a Wait. Am I dumb? But um, it was the one release after the first one on the. Wait a second. Why? Why was I about to die? Yeah, it's me. But, um... Maybe. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. If you put Max in charge of that, I'm not I'm not quite sure how I do that. My first instinct would be just to... Kind of like we talked about before. Release them as is. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm feeling really stupid. So I'm just going to stare at this for a second. Alright, I've stared at it long enough. It was a trick. It was a ploy. That second rock was there to fool you. And it worked once. My new camera. Whoa. What just happened? Do I turn upside down for a second? What just happened? I just wanted to lower a little bit because I'm sitting a little lower. Alright, uh, gee. Too low. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sitting in a more casual pose. You know? Yeah, depending on depending on my posture, I must I must adjust the camera. I still like how it looks. Sorry. 
Alright, um, I'm just gonna air cut you. Just slick. So it doesn't need to be effective just needs to hit you. Yep, everyone's almost level 57. Good shit, except for Veladier, who really is the one laying down the team, let's be honest. Sup, you see me just kill that Onyx? This total stranger will be a good way to see if I have what it takes to own the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Thank you, random stranger, for participating. Take out your Pokemon. Take them out right now. I swear to fucking goodness, take out your damn Pokemon. <laughs> I did uh, so. I did that as a bit, but I also want to look at how the camera focuses on the gun. It looks pretty good. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. All right. Um, you are a fairy, which means most of my bullshit doesn't work. So I'm just gonna quiver dance once, cause I think you're gonna do some weird setup move, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just uh, air slash. Call it that. Cosmic power is based. Ooh. That's unfortunate. Well, we both boosted ourselves. <laughs> we both uh, took a turn to get stronger. That's okay. Flinch, flinch. Ah, shit. Eh, it does all right. All right, come on, flinch. It's a thirty percent chance. I've taken shots in XCOM at 30% chance and got away with it. Wait, what? Oh, it used Moonlight, not Moon Blast. Oh. That means you know you're part of a losing fight. Um. Nope. I thought I got it. I don't know, I should, I should figure out Mario Party online sometimes. Could be a fun thing to do with friends. Stream activity. Plans that I will consider but never actually follow through. Oh, he's beautiful! Oh my goodness, he's beautiful! Oh, I love him! Look at you! Oh, and you're dead. It was good to see you though, Torterra. I got to be reminded of what could have been. Bye-bye. No. No. That battle just now make <laughs> now must make you tougher than everyone in the world. What? You had two Pokemon. That's not even a joke. You had two. The Elite Four should just surrender. I think you're being sarcastic. I think you're being a prissy bitch. Alright, um... Well, there's only one way to make this work. I have to sacrifice this path. That's okay. Because I'll just go down in the back. And then I'll just push down. And then... Probably what they want me to do, to be honest. So... You're challenged by a veteran Kate. Secretly, she's beating the Elite Four, but not the Champion 5. <laughs> He's like, yeah, the Elite Four bitches, like, whatever. <laughs> Just talk shit, and in the moment Cynthia walks in the room, she's like. Alright, I'm gonna. I'm just at the gate, gonna switch to. Shit. I'll switch to Sarah Geek. Sarah Geek can tank a hit, probably. Wait a second, I, I could have just used Air Slash. <laughs> Max, you could have just, 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 just used Air Slash and probably gotten away with it. It's fine. It's fine. Power Gem's gonna insta kill you. Just skadoo, bitch. There you go. The Queen Bee's gotta show off at least a little bit. Hold on. What the fuck? Nah, I kind of wish I did leave in who's who knows. Alright, um. Hmm. 
Yeah. I'm just trying to keep everyone alive so I don't use revives. Okay. Isn't that very effective, right? Alright, uh, uh, Psychic, because ground resists. Ground resists. Uh, bug type Pokemon resists ground moves. Bug type moves are resisted by berry fighting, fire flying, ghost, poison, and steel. Also, we see bug buzz on you, and hopefully, I can kill you one shot. There you go. Yeah. Nice. old 59. Jeez. Brilliant. Takes out his Wag Sashi. It's like, I must now atone for my dishonor. It's like, whoa, 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 it's okay, it's okay. No, I insist. In fact, you do me the honor, and he hands me the sword. Alright, so now I, now I have to go down there. But that's okay, because I do this. Because I'm... Brilliant. Ah, shit. Okay, so I was probably devoting a little too much brain power into that, but I wanted to like, you know, super duper make sure. Well, I don't know what this is gonna be, but this is fun. Oh, damn it! Fuck off, go bad. I'm trying to do a cool trick. I'm trying to be cool. Don't take this away from me. I, um, okay. Oh, you also use air cutters. I, I just I didn't read the name, I just read air cutters. Like, yeah, whatever, do it. Was there a point to that? Nah. Not really. But it's fun. That's the important thing. It's fun. Oops. And bug buttons. We're almost running out. Oh, shit. We're almost running out of ammo, though, so we're gonna need to switch the helmet out of soon. Oh, you stay alive, because sturdy. Now you self-destruct like a dick. <laughs> <sighs> this, that right there, is why I simultaneously like and hate Gravelers. Because that is like the fear of every single Nuzlocke. 
it's right up there with Pokemon that have like flail or reversal or endeavor that you're like, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna take them out. It's no de big deal. And then they're just like sturdy reversal, sturdy flail or sturdy. I'm just gonna self-destruct your ass. And there was literally nothing I could have done about that. That's the thing that gets me about them. They're, they're, what, what could I have done other than just leave? Other than just like take my ball and go home. <laughs> Like, there, there's no stopping, there's no stopping that from popping out. Yeah. Jeez, everyone's gone. Cool. Alright, um... Gonna run out of Oran berries. I don't know what I'll do then. I intend to perfect my double battle technique. This will make me better all around. I want to improve my technique as a trainer and as a double battler as much as I can. Alright, so you guys got some bullshit strategy. Ooh, I don't know what it is, but you guys got some bullshit strategy. But I know one thing. What should we call it? There, wish cash, whimsy cash. Like the second is. is a water ground, which you know, in many ways, is very cool. In other ways, fucking sucks for him, wish cash. Like, so sorry to hear about your funeral, bitch. Pair of fanny pack and boost match. That's a look. Can you imagine, like, besides just the normal, like, you know, like, oh, these clothes go well with my eyes or whatever, right? Can you imagine, like, dyeing your hair specifically to match your shoes? Or, like, I'm gonna make my hair an outlandish color and then make matching your boots with it kind of idea? Like, that's work right there. My goodness, you're great at double battles. What the fuck? Just once. That's what someone says. Just what the fuck. Damn it. I take two steps towards them. I've respected too much effort for my ass though. But then you get bored of a color and you're like, I want to dye my hair blue now. So you dye your hair blue, but then you have to buy a whole wardrobe. You have to go out of your way to get an entire wardrobe just to match your new shoes or else someone's going to like, yeah, you could just dress normally, right? But then someone's gonna bring it up like, hey, that one time you, for like a month, matched your belt and your shoes and your hair. How can we not do that anymore? And you don't wanna have that conversation. It's weird, it's awkward. So then you have to buy a whole new wardrobe. Like, I think dyed hair can look very nice, but not a, not for that much effort. And I think Hemelnade can do one more fight. <gasps> Holy shit. Kyoshin Pokemon are in it. Okay, so... So, 180 critical hits versus 7590 flinch. Uh, we're gonna run Rock Slide. But Max, why would you do that? You always say consistency is better. Eh, Stone Edge. Come on, it's Stone Edge. Stone Edge is so good. Pieces back to the night. I'll go through that for color code and shape and after my daily. You have 21. Jeez. That's impressive. Okay, so one, two, three, four, eight, five, six. I'm gonna hang up. Now hang on. I gotta I got count this out. So,
belly button. Sorry, I'll, I'll be it. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you called it. That's not even me trying to be mean. It's like, imagine you wearing them all at once looking like pain from, uh, from Naruto. And I'm like doing the math in my head of like, That has to be a lot of work. I'm like taking those all in now. I mean, obviously you enjoy doing it, you enjoy doing it, but like. Right, am I right with the ears, right? You you would have four you would have like the three, and then you have the one at the top. Them out at all, seamless shoots are pretty comfy. Oh, the gauges? Uh, okay, so I almost had the right idea. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have you kill this. We'll have you kill this little bat. We'll put you, we'll put you to the side just because you're running out of ammo. I guess we have five, so that's ten. And then tongue would be one. So we have ten more we have to with. Okay, okay. I'll be honest, I've never really understood gauges. Like, okay, maybe maybe this is my innate sense of paranoia kicking in, right? And I have a lot of paranoia. I'm, will, I'm willing to accept that about myself as a person. But like, every time I see gauges, all I can think of is a video I saw someone did once where they specifically looked for people that had gauges and put padlocks through their ears. Which you know, obviously is kind of a mean prank. But that's all I can ever think of when I see this. When I see that, it's like the same thing with like. Okay, so Max is a girl, right? I would never want like. Oops, sorry, sorry, microphone. I would never want like the big giant hoops, because all I can imagine is I'm holding a baby and I'm being cute, right? And baby just. Oh, I don't know these are effective. That's disappointing. Uh, I'll just use both those. Um, all I can imagine with earrings like that is a baby just reaching up and just going. You know what I mean? Oh. Does it actually pressure? It raises a stat randomly. Which is kind of cool, but it's random. So. Uh. Septum is the only open. I don't, I don't know what these words mean. I'm gonna Google them if you put on this. Earrings septum. Ah, wait, like the the. Okay, I'm not a doctor, and I'm forgetful. But um. Okay. But wouldn't you have like the same concern there? Cause like, I have a very itchy nose. And you like itch and you pull on it wrong. Won't that really hurt? Okay, so 10, 12, 13. I'm going to assume tongue. 14, right? I think that's a reasonable assumption. So 14, and then 15, 16, 17, 18. No. no. My Pokemon, no. Sorry, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm just like, that's a lot of work. And all I can imagine is someone pulling on them. Ah, uh, okay, so three. All I can imagine is someone, like, just going... You know what I mean? Or, like, um... You know, if you have a dog or something that, like, licks your face, then it, like, gets pulled on there. Or, um, I just used Psychic on you, and that only did half... Oh, no. That wasn't too bad. I'm kind of wondering if I should just give up on trying to train Belladere because, really, besides Psychic, Belladere does not offer that much. Or besides Poison, Belladere does not offer that much. So, so five, so ten. Then you got four more. 
1819. I have no idea where the other two would be. Uh. Ooh, that's. I'm gonna talk my. I'm gonna talk out my ass for a second. That's a more Indian style, isn't it? Like India, Indian, not Native American. Uh, yeah. Like in some, like I've seen, I've seen you know people with that kind of a thing. It's very, you know, it's really cool. It's very unique. But once again, like, hey, how's it going? And like, you know, may maybe like they have clasps or suck something so that if it like pulls hard, it just comes apart so it doesn't rip out your skin. But all I could think of was how much that would hurt. Yeah. I mean, if you had two, but still, that's a lot of weight, I imagine. It's like, oh, but you can have like a really small, thin chain, but. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine that. Uh, oh my goodness. Hey, look, finally, it's a different Pokemon. I don't know, if I, I'm, I've never really been one for piercings, just in general, as, as you may have noticed. Like, I, if you were like Max, you know, Max, gun to the head, you have to get a piercing. I don't even know what I would get. Probably just like your rings. If I don't know how to make, I, w I wouldn't know how to like, make them look good. You know what I mean? Without them looking like weird or out of place or anything. Uh... I had a counterweight on, which made it look like I had a secondary area hand from the one I've been to. It was fun, but definitely not very functional. Wait. Oh, because the weight would be like forward, forward, so you'd have a counterweight on the back. Or do you mean you just like, you just like wear a hat that has like a big dumbbell on the back of it? And sorry, I know, I'm, I'm not saying that to be judgment as well. It's something I've never really understood. Not trying to be like. It looks bad, and you should feel bad, and if you wear jewelry, you're a feminine. In fact, my dad, um, whenever we go to living history fairs, like, um, to sell stuff, we always dress up like pirates. And my dad has, like, he has, like, a pirate earring, and he always puts on, like, a ton of rings and stuff like that. I considered doing it once, but then I was like, I'm gonna have to pierce my ear, and I don't want to do that because it looks really painful. Meanwhile, my girlfriend, who um, whatever it's called, when she has, she has a one in a while because she works with kids a lot, but she has like the three, she has like the three holes, whatever that style is called, and she's hearing me go like, ah, but it, it would hurt, and I don't want to do that. And she's like making fun of me. Only ones that hurt were the tongue and my cartilage. When you say cartilage, I want to confirm. I want to I confirm for the class. You're talking about specifically right here, right? Like this part of the ear. Oh, oh, you mean you mean you mean up here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, cause I can feel it's cartilage. Uh. Um, I just realized. Did I just get? I hit first, right? Yeah, I did. There you go. Ah. That's like her, especially for the um. What are the things that like pain from Naruto has, where it's like it's like a bar that like goes through the thing? I that has to hurt way a lot. There's just so much in your past, like how you named yourself Abatharina as a joke to be Abathur, and you never really took time to talk in Abathur's voice. So many bits lost to the ages. That was a waste. Why did, I, why did I do that twice? Why did I say out loud that that was a waste and then do it anyway? Okay. Oh, there's a thing there. Oh. Am I supposed to go down or... Uh, oh, there's a waterfall there, though. Okay, so he, wait, no, 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 I need to fight you. So the question is, is the waterfall the actual way to go, or is it a side path? I don't know. 
Uh, but I think it would make me feel too itchy. I'm not a fan of connecting bar piercings on myself. Uh, oh, okay. Torchmark is likely to feel any part of the parts of the skin and close the tiny hole still there. Um, um, isn't Sludge Bomb base power like, like 90? Oh wow, so it is effectively the same. So I'm just betting on the poison, basically. Blah. Swagger. I've never understood Swagger. Like, it's a funny idea, but I, I don't. You know, like, I'm gonna raise your attacks so you hurt yourself, but also I fuck myself over if you manage to get through and hit me with a higher attack. Plus, the confusion's gonna go away after a certain period of time, so really, I'm just boosting you for free. Yeah, I've decided I probably won't get any more too fair, just tats. I gotcha. I can make the terrible joke of, like, I will, n I will not destroy my body that way anymore. Instead, I'll destroy my body this way. <laughs> You're like, oh, thank you. But now I'm kidding. I only make that joke because um, I knew guys in the Navy who would just get tattoos just to get them. And like, you know, for whatever reason, I would like see one and I'd be like, oh, I'm like, oh, how come you got that one? And they'd just be like, oh, and I was drunk once. And that as a concept, I, my brain could not comprehend that. Of like just getting a tattoo for no other reason than just for giggles. I'd be like, I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd want it to mean something. So that's the only reason I make that too. Something's up with that dude. I don't know what. Nope. Uh. Jeez. Wouldn't you like... But like, wouldn't it hurt enough that you would like stop or wouldn't you wanna... I don't know. Well, I'm glad it turned out good. I'm glad you ultimately liked it. Drunk you clearly knew what you were doing. Oh, God. I think. Okay. Drunk, drunk you clearly knew what you wanted, but also I don't think I'd trust drunk me to do that. I don't, know. I don't know what this person is, but they scare me. I'm making an already strong Pokemon grow even stronger. I'll need your help with this. Your unique character spray, Dragon Tamer Andre. That's a good bite. Oh, it's so cute. You. Oh god. Oh god. This is foreshadowing. Um, bug buzz. <laughs> I was pretty wild when I was in my early 20s, to be fair. I've chilled out a lot since then. I wasn't trying to talk shit, I'm sorry! Why did I ever have a wild and crazy face? I actually got married. Before. Yeah, but that wasn't wild and crazy. I never went out partied and shit. Didn't have any drunk stories. Now I'm an old man. Oops, I'm not my phone. I'm an old man that never does anything fun ever. There's no, there's no way I could have won, especially when you had six Pokemon and I had one. Yeah, now, now I'm a boring old man. I never do anything cool. Wait. Oh, that's right. No! Yes. I'm 27. But the, but you see, the years... They weigh on my heart and soul. They weigh on me. Like like the robes of the, the robes of the Grim Reaper himself slowly suffocating me. 
Not immediately, but I can feel it slowing my movements every day. What's the quote? Like butter spread over too much bread. I'm old, Ganda. Yes, I'm being melodramatic on purpose. Yes, I am. I recognize that fully. Meanwhile, you're over there like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't give me this bullshit. I'm like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, eh. I'm more saying it as a bit. I'm just being silly. It's all good. I have been really thirsty today. Because I feel like I have endless spit in my mouth. So you know what? It works out. You don't have to remind me to hydrate. Thought I put vodka in it. You'll never know. Alright, so we're going to go beat the... Do I have any more cows? I must not. Because I didn't buy any more. I only one super. So. We're just going to have to suffer. We're going to have to knock out those two that are like right below us. It's probably going to be a double battle, and then... Set. We form a combination that's in perfect sync. How do you expect to counter that? It's a double team of aces. Oh, God. They, oh, they're going to double team. Grapefruit Vodka Street. We did look more into that one vodka you were talking about. We didn't get any, but... We didn't get any, but... um. The moment I told Megan about it, she's like, that sounds really good, and I kind of want it. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. We don't really go to liquor stores, but next time we do, we might have to. I forget exactly what it is now, but I know we Googled it. Uh, Deep Eddie, I think it was. The vodka lemonade you were talking about. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna such bomb you, because why not? And then you're gonna power gem you, because why not? How the heck is Veladier the Yep, deep petty. Okay. She likes to drink more than I do, so. But. Something good. Oh, shit! I thought bug resisted sight. Max, you can't just say ass as a response. Yeah, the, the, the most crazy we ever get is um, we'll have, I don't even remember what it's called, some fruity sort of alcohol. It's not wine, it's just a bottle. I don't remember what. I don't remember exactly what. Might have one, at most two of those while playing d and You and your Pokemon make a beautiful combination. You and your Pokemon gain power by helping each other out. You guys didn't help each other out, you just attacked. Fruity, I I, uh, I don't remember exactly what it's called. It's some it's some basic bitch thing. It's nothing. Is this the path I need to go or is it the other way? Oh good. Okay. I don't know my alcohols. I'm not an alcoholic. If you could name it right now, that proves you're an alcoholic. Ow! I don't want to fight you! Yeah, your instructions are to leave. I say that as a joke, I promise. I'm used to making those jokes because um, the guys that I play D&D with, they're, I swear, each one of them has an encyclopedic knowledge of alcohol. Like, uh, like they would, they recommend all sorts of different kinds of like, whiskeys and vodkas and bourbons and they know just how to mix them and they know what it is. And they all like drink regularly and they have a very high tolerance. And whenever any of us are sick, one of them will always say, 
it, Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yep. Mike's Hard Lemonade. Congratulations, you're not wrong. Nah. You just have 10 seconds of memory, and I don't. But, um... It's always funny. Whenever any of us are sick for whatever reason, like, it is guaranteed someone in the group is gonna say, try X kind of whiskey or X kind of something, because it'll help clear out your system. <laughs> they always say it. So I always give them shit that they're alcoholics. And they give me shit for being a lightweight. That, like, I I just get... Jeez, I kind of wanted the route to end. I'm kind of done with Victory Road. Big uh, if you have them. I mean, we never drank to the point of having hangovers, so... It's fine, just a chill drink to kind of loosen up, you know? Uh, speed. Press low speed. Uh, Zeragine, surprisingly. I didn't think Zeragine and, uh, Veladier's speed would match. Okay, I can keep that in mind. Uh... Oh, wait a second. Razor Claw? No, that's the... And I'm to be held by Pokemon. This, uh, this sharply hooked claw increases the critical hit ratio. Isn't that the thing that, um... Gliscor or Gligar needs to evolve into Gliscor. I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Salafon. Yeah, because he has X Scissor. He has X Scissor. Sorry, the incompatible thing threw me off. He has X Scissor and um Slash, so that'll work out good. Nah, I got you. I got you. We're usually pretty good about drinking lots of water. I can sense that your Pokemon have a lot of trust in you. You and your Pokemon, you seem to be a glow. Oh shit, that one's radioactive. All right, we gotta be like almost done with Victory Road though. Going for almost three hours. I wanna beat the Elite Four. I wanna kick their ass. Elite Four, then Cynthia, and then more than likely we're gonna have to deal with um, lose his ass. Um. Then we're gonna have to deal with Stukavri. He's the one I'm scared. Him and Cynthia are the ones I'm scared of. Well, I guess there is the fire one too. Oh, you made yourself a bug flying. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, that is mean. He's like, ha, I made I made myself your type, so you can't beat me. Now I'm a rock type move, like, oh. Well, since you like Mike's heart, if you guys like cider at all, if you get a fruit bomb from Michigan, it's a hard style that comes in cherry nuts flavors. Um, I remember having hard style a while ago. That was also what I was going to name it. Yeah, that was kind of an it. It's like we said, right? You know what I mean? But I'd be willing to give it a try. Granted, what I had probably wasn't, um, specifically forbidden fruit, so I'd say it's definitely maybe worth a shot. Heavy slam? I'm a big girl. Yes, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big girl, so that shit ain't gonna work. It's probably a really bad idea for me to stay in, but I'm gonna stay in anyway. Wow. That worked out. Yeah. Hey, Joe, it's still alive. Two more stats to go. You still work on your god character? Order again. Bitch. But I, I wasn't particularly keen on um I wasn't particularly keen on Mike's heart. It was more just like we had it, so I'll bring it, you know what I mean? I wasn't like, yeah, it's just the best, it's just like yeah, it's whatever. Every stat with faith in our game. Even this, well, I would say those are the stats for nerds, except, you know, if you already did intelligence. The nerdiest. As we, as we know, as we all know, if you cast spells in any Dark Souls game, clearly you're a bitch. Clearly. There's just, there's just no, there's no getting around it. Eh? I'm going to switch out. Yep, 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 switching out. 
Just clearly there's no gain around it. You must be an absolute loser if you cast spells in a Dark Souls game. No, the only way to play Dark Souls is you have to grab the biggest sword that weighs more than you ever will. You have no armor. You just run around shirtless and slamming into shit. <laughs> Max, aren't you trying to do a faith build? Yes. Those look fun. Yeah, I'm never gonna do them. Now. Nah. <laughs> I know there are people who are like, I'm gonna do my no-hit run of Dark Souls. No. I'm good. I understand it now. Here's $40, kid. Don't spend them on booze. I don't know why I'm in such a talking shit mood today, but I am. So, if I offend anyone, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, willing to bet there's someone who like beat the oh. Wait, do I wanna? Do I wanna? What's that guy there? Top level trainers gather around this place naturally. I go as far as to call it the. Uh, oops, sorry. Bye. Mr. Clinton. Gibble! They're like, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, motherfucker, guess what you're gonna fight soon? Look at me with intense and determined eyes. Send your children. Say you're thinking Elden Ring class, don't I? Have I said that I really like Elden Ring? Like, I really, really, really like Elden Ring. I really like Elden Ring. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, but I must, I must restrain, or refrain. I must stop myself. <laughs> God, I'm Like, gotta wait till stream to play it, but I was like, oh, I I've already been given, um, I've already been told, like, all right, Max, like, what have you done so far? Okay, don't forget to go to this spot and this spot, talk to this person. <laughs> Actually, I've only been given one thing like that so far, so. But I'm, I'm just getting used to that being the norm. Like, at the beginning of every stream, I have to stop and be like, okay, people told me to go here to this place, so let's go. Okay, so, clearly that person's there, so let's, ah! You aren't. You're an ugly piece of shit. Alright, Steelix, I'm gonna say it. Okay, no one else wants to say it, I'm gonna say it. You're ugly. Go away. Your face, it just looks wrong. It's like, you're, you're, you're a giant ugly bug. The fuck are you talking about, Max? It's like, ah, I think I know fashion more than you. Just saying, I think I do. Alright, good. That should make it so that I can dig out. And fly to it. All right, we're just gonna run back real quick. Gotta go talk to that guy. Dolls Donuts! I'm gonna talk to that guy, and he's gonna be like, only champions can go through here. And then I'm gonna look him dead in the eye and be like, if I'm the champion, that means I'm the strongest Pokemon fighter in the land. So who the fuck are you to tell me that I can't, you know, like, what if I just fight you? Oh, okay. Spinal. He looks like a disembodied spinal. It is very spinal cordy. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Like, I know Gen. Wait, no, Steelix was in Gen two, wasn't it? Like, I could see what they were going for. But by the same token, is like I. I think he's kind of ugly. And you know what? Honestly, I'm gonna make another weird statement. Okay, this is. No, I'm gonna make a weird statement. And if someone wants to tell me I'm wrong, that's okay. I think it's okay to have ugly Pokemon. 
You know what I mean? Just because I think it's ugly doesn't mean everyone else does. But like, in general, I think it's okay to have ugly Pokemon. That being said, I really don't like how Steelix looks. And the more I see him in this playthrough, the more annoyed I get with him. Go! Oh, like... Like, I, I know they were going for the super underbite, but that it's so wide and like, out and... The body having spikes, I'm more okay with, but... And I wish I had a suggestion for what I would want the head to look like. But... And, yeah. You're going to become even tougher. You'll meet many, many Pokemon. That's what you should be thinking. Eventually, your world will grow even larger. Does this game have... Does, does this game have it so that you can, like... Okay, I'm gonna test something. I really hope this works. The way that I just was like, eh? Hey, it worked. But no, like, not all Pokemon have to be beautiful, elegant, whatever. It's nice to have the pinnacle of trainer dumb. The pinnacle of trainer dumb. No, it's okay to have ugly Pokemon, just like it's okay to have cute Pokemon, just like it's okay to have beautiful Pokemon. But I just, it, it makes it so that there's a Pokemon for everyone, right? Which is a good thing. I just don't like how Steelix looks at right? Okay, I just don't. The pinnacle of trainer. That just sounds so silly. Oh. For a second, it kind of looks like stars. All right. So, we're going to take on the Elite Four, but I really got to go to the bathroom. So, let's just switch out. All right, so we're gonna take a quick break. Yeah, var variety is something that makes Pokemon special, and it's something that I think is really nice about it. Because you know, somewhere out there, for every for every Pokemon out there, there someone it's someone's favorite, and I think that's special. Like by saying Steelix is ugly, I offended a good number of people out there. That's okay. I think it's a good thing. But uh, because you know my favorite Pokemon, Porygon Z, a lot of people are gonna look at that Pokemon and be like. Piece of shit. It's dumb. It's gimmicky. You have to trade it twice to get there. And I think it's a good thing. But yes, quick break. We'll be right back.
Alright, and we're back. Say so, yeah, I like Celix, but I can respect he's not Chad. Oh. oh! What's our definition of Chad? Of like, big, beefy, muscular Pokemon? Because he fulfills that criteria. I just don't like him. Alright. Let us begin. Kind of eerie, not gonna lie. All right, first things first, heal me. Okay, we're gonna need to do some. We're gonna need to do some soul searching with our Pokemon before we go in there and get our asses handed to us. He's all bone, no medium. His cheeks are concave. He has chiseled features. I let myself out. Oh. Uh. What's at the store? Alright. Oh, finally! Dusk Balls! I would like all of my Pokemon to be in Dusk Balls. Real talk, can I actually do that? Actually, wait, no, 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 no. That's wrong. Net Balls. Can I, like, put all my guys into Net Balls? Alright, um, Antidote, Peril. Pals, we don't need our pals anymore. Okay. Hold on. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay, hold on. Okay, ball capsules. No. Ball capsules. So, ball. Select Pokemon. I forgot that I got Mew. And a motherfucking Dialga. Okay, so Kyojimba. Select. Select. Swap. Select. Place sticker. I don't want to place stickers. Is there a way to do this? What I'm trying to do right now? Why the fuck is it not an option that you could just switch whatever Pokeball your Pokemon has for style? Yeah! Yeah, is there a way to do that? Alright, um... There probably isn't. I don't think there was in the past, so I imagine there isn't now. But I wish there was. Yeah. Once again, when I come to power, and I make a Pokemon game, that's gonna be something you can do. Because, you know, there are people out me. There are, there are gonna be people like me who are like, I want my Pokemon to be, uh. I want my po Oh, I just realized. My lights are all wrong. My lights are all wrong. There. Yeah, for a while I had to leave my lights back because the auto adjust made it look wrong. Now I have to leave my lights back up here so you can see my pale, pale ass face. The glory of white lights, am I right? Let's use an admin one. Um, okay, so... Does full incense actually fuck with your... Like, does it just say that or does it actually screw with you? It's, it's effect is identical to the lagging tail that delays your turn. So fuck that. Alright, um... But only until a different move is used. Nope. Alright, so berries. We've only been using orange, so... Uh... Using on Pokemon makes it more friendly, but lowers its special defense. Uh. None of said all those are useless. Yep, back to the horn. Alright, um, otherwise everyone's all set up and good. So now we need to dole out the... Now we need to dole out the rare candies. 
Um, I think Veladir was the one who was furthest back. Yep, this actually helps. So yeah, Siphalon doesn't need one, so we'll give one to we'll give two to Veladir, and then one to Tulatorn. And I'll probably be good. Yep. Oh wait, what am I doing? Alright, I'm gonna make a bad decision. That's not what I meant to do. I was gonna give to Toshima. Yeah. There you go. Kinda wish I had one more now. Close combat! We're gonna replace Brick Brick! 120, the user fights the target up close without guarding itself. This also lowers use of defense and special offense. We don't care because it's nearly double the power. Like, that's that's it. It's nearly double the power. All right, we're going to... Everyone get your jokes out now. We're going to get a little PP up. To that. There you go. Um, Who else even needs it? Who else needs it? Who else needs a PP up is the question. That was pretty more in close combat. All right, uh, HP up. Who wants it? Hamilade. Yep. Because we've been using the Pokemon this entire time, none of these will have any effect. We're already full on EVs or whatever they're called. Be interesting to see the EV. Whatever, but it's fine. All right, um... Oh, wait, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Uh... One last look. One last look. Okay, so... No, I'm, I'm pretty happy with you. With what we got right now. Taunt? No. Ice Beam, Dazzling Gleam, Low Sweet. You really would think Hemelnade would be a, would be able to learn Dazzling Gleam. You would really think. All right, Shadow Ball. We've already established Shadow Ball only really helps with Ghosts and Psychics, and we already got Bug type moves. So nope, no Shockwave. Unfortunately, Thief is kind of the same problem with Dark as there is with Ghost. Skill Swap is funny, but like you really need to have a plan. Roost is no. Uh, Brine would be great, but no. Charge Beam would be awesome, but no. Drain Punch? I would consider Drain Punch like, versus Close Combat. Like, I seriously would. Uh, Shadow Claw? No. Payback? No. Avalanche would be amazing. Uh, Psych Up, Dark Pulse, Dream Eater. It's funny you can learn Dream Eater. Um, Pluck, Substitute, Flash Cannon, Cut. Fly, Surf, Stronk, Defog, Rock Smash, Waterfall, Rock Climb. Yep. Everyone say a little prayer. I don't know who's first, so I'm just going to lead. Actually, Tulatorn and Safelon are about to level up. Or Xylophon. Are about to level up, right? So let's have them lead. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, ah! Hold on. Hold it. Don't go off without me. You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. Let's use more worthy of making the challenge of the battle! Ugh. Damn it! I, I should have led with hair across! Ah! You're gonna lower my attack like a dick. And now I'm gonna be all thrown out of whack. Alright, Sarah, you get in there. Meanwhile, we're in the middle of this building. They're like, please take this outside. I'm like, I'll pluck, you dick. You ate my berry, you piece of shit. Power gem. Fuck you, you're faster than me. Fuck you, that's gonna kill me if this doesn't kill you in one shot. Die, bitch, die. Damn it. 
All right, I'm gonna make a bet that you're either gonna do something stupid or yes. That's what I was hoping for. Bitch. Yeah. Ah. Get them sweet, sweet levels. Mm -mm. Look at that speed. Look at that attack. Sent out hair across. You copycat piece of shit. You knew. You knew that I chose. Son, bitch, you're faster. How are you faster? What the fuck? You knew to choose one of the best bug types in this entire game. You knew. Because you're a dick. Um. Two of the turns fast as fuck. Okay. I know I could have sent out mine, but I didn't. Ah, oh, no! You're faster! I'm gonna lose. No, 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 no. We're not gonna lose. We're not gonna lose. We're, we're gonna do this. You don't have a flying type move anymore. I thought Cool Tour was in the faster one. Uh, I can't believe this Heracross that is 10 levels under us is faster. What the fuck? How are you so much faster? Yeah, get wrecked, bitch. I really wish I, I had my male hair across because that would have been really cool to like have it match, but this is a scary one. This is a scary one. Go. Come on. Damn it. Live. Oh, no. Die, 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 die. Oh. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Live, 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 live. Imagine matching your hair to Infernape. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. You could, you just be, what's her face, uh, Yang from, uh, from uh, Ruby. Come on, faster, fat. Okay. All right, pull the win. We have to pull the win of our asses. We have three more Pokemon to go. Okay, we just took out the two that I'm pre actually, we took out the three that if I remember correctly are the biggest threats. Okay, come on. Floatzel, no problem. Floatzel, just no problem. Giga Drain and done. That's fine. Just Giga Drain, one and done. Boom. What scares me the most about this though, right? Is that that, okay, that Infernape was level 55 and that Heracross and that Star Raptor were like level 51 or some shit, right? Just wall confirmed on that, right? Oh, uh, this going on. We're not quite the stage of where I'm going to start using max revives. But we are going to cheese the shit out of this. I don't know what that move is. Shit. Okay. Okay, and then next round we're going to use a hyper potion. The problem here is that, um, 
we know Snorlax is incredibly high special attack. The way to take down a Snorlax is to go for the physical. Okay. Is to go is to go for the physical, right? We're gonna do air cutter because we're gonna bet on the we're gonna go for the flinch. Yeah, but by boosting our there we go, perfect. But by boosting our special our special attack or special defense that should set us up for next uh, for whoever's next. That should finish him off. But we are going to be going to sleep. Alright, uh... I have no idea! Uh, you unlocked some memory I definitely didn't have. I can tell you that. I fully believe in this last one. I have no reason to freak out. Rosary is right. You're not going to have much you can do to immediately kick the shit out of me, so I'm just going to... Alright, let's see what you do. Smarty pants. Also, I just realized my eyes aren't closed. Beautifly's eyes aren't closed. You, you can see that, right? Wait, this... Oh, it just said I woke up. Oh, you made the place all lovely. Boom. Oh, so yeah, my head's gone. Oh, okay. Shit. What just went down? My team still needs raising. Jeez. I guess I'm not ready for the. I read this. Damn it. I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Damn it. Just you wait, I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League because I'm going to become the toughest Pokemon trainer that is. The champion. Abathorina, you better not lose to anyone before me! That guy's like, hey, so you gonna like... Are you gonna like... Yeah, come, come in? And I'm just like, no! Ah. Oh! I can't believe... I won't be offended. Um... How much faster is Heracross than everyone else? Holy shit, Heracross is my fastest po- What's the base speed on Heracross? How is Heracross my fastest Pokemon? Like, if you told me, like, without thinking, who's your fastest? I'd be like, probably... Pro yeah, if you said, without thinking, who's your fastest? I would bet on Tulatorn or Hamilnade. And then, like, Cephalon second. I would put him in, like, the middle. You posted a link. How dare you. Ban for life. I'm joking. His base speed is 85. How? I'm joking. I pulled it up on Bulbapedia, but thank you for doing that. How is he faster than everyone else? God, he really is the buster of the team, isn't he? He is just an absolute fucking powerhouse. Hey! There's definitely a reason why, in terms of like main team Pokemon, right? Um, who should we call it? I, th I made a list. And I've talked about this plenty of times. I made a list of, like, you know, my ideal teams. And I made four separate ones. So, like, for the fire slot, the grass slot, the water slot. Maybe, yeah. He must have just gotten lucky and, like, got them all. But, um... Because I, I never grinded with anyone. Just for the record. I never grinded, so... But, um... Yeah, so I had like four Pokemon for my fire types, four Pokemon for my water types, four Pokemon for my grass types, and then you have like the miscellaneous, or you have like the main, and then like the miscellaneous. There's a reason Heracross is in there, because he's just incredible. Let me confirm that you're qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. To do so, I'll need to examine the gym badges you gathered from around Sinnoh. And the moon, and the moon, and the moon, and the moon. 
He pulls like a little, 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 little popper, just like. Very well. Trainer, you've de all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory! Oh, God. I really hope I can get a good look at the arena so I can make an estimation of what I'm doing up against. I know it's cheating, but I think Happy Lappy mentioned it earlier that the first guy is a bug guy, which makes me really happy. We bugs gotta represent, dog. So, what are you gonna do to help represent? Oh, simple. Gonna give everyone who has a flying type move front and center. Aaron, hello! Welcome to the Pokemon League! I'm gonna fuck you up! Alright, it's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain, I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. I, I just high five him, give him a hug, like, yes! <laughs> Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challenges here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my Bug Pokemon. The heights of evolutionary prowess. <laughs> hey, you know what's up? <laughs> what you got? <laughs> it's the way he's holding himself, he's just like, what you got, bitch? <laughs> We actually probably are going to have a lot of very similar Pokemon, and that also makes me really happy. He has a Dustox, I have a Dustox. I'm going to use Aerial Ace and fuck him up in one. Oh shit, he tanky. Boy, he tanky. That's... Come on. Shut up. <gasps> you have Black Sludge! Uh, why don't I have Black Sludge? Black Sludge is so good. It's, why don't I have leftovers? Yeah, Black Sludge is basically leftovers, but if you're a poison, unless you're a poison type, it hurts you. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, he also has the best bug type in the son of a bitch! Live, yes! Oh God, they didn't even say it was because he loved me. Oh God. Yeah, silent phone, silent phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Do we really just have the same team? I think we do. I think we just have the same team. Shit. I'm out. I'm out. Uh. Wait, so who's, if he has five Pokemon, I have six. Who's the one that I have that he doesn't? Maybe he chose between these two. Maybe he has different forms of Burmy. You want to see a queen, bitch? Then let's go. Maybe he doesn't have the cricket tune. Power gem, motherfucker. Bam. Uh, what's a quote from Helsing Abridged? Like this is my house. God save the queen. Alright, hold on a minute. Nope! Uh, this is okay though, this is okay. This is okay. Bitch! That's another thing. I, I need to watch the original Helsing Ultimate again. And then the abridged. Drapion? What the fuck? That ain't a real bug. That thing's poison dark now. What the fuck? That 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 ain't no that ain't a bug. Get this shit out of my face. What the fuck is this? The fuck? He's like, well, Max, it starts as a bug. No, it don't. Get the fuck out of here. This is some weird poison dark bullshit. Fuck that. Okay, so I'm not fast than you, so I might as well use attack order. Get a little bit more power. Get, ooh. But wait, hold on. Because you're poison dark, that actually covers a lot of shit. I can't use psychic. I can't use grass. I can't use psychic. So we're just gonna we're just gonna brute force this bitch. Yep, we're just gonna brute force this bitch. Megahorn will do 
Megahorn will do nooch. Holy shit. Holy shit. <gasps> My power's gonna go up though. Live, live, live. Mm. Shit. Are we about to go out round one? All right, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to brute force it. Bug buzz. All right. Uh. Bug buzz. Yeah, your your night slashing is going for. Mm. Not yet. Your first po league victory doesn't come easily, kid. Shit, it doesn't. Live, 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 live. Just you know, asshole. If you start, if you start throwing potions towards that Drapion, I will start throwing potions towards my Pokemon. So, don't think you're getting out of shit, Mister. All right, Tool Torn. Show the world what's up. Show the world what's good. Fuck him up. I just realized you're level 57. I'm under leveled as fuck. Shit, I don't wanna, I don't wanna grind. I don't wanna grind. I'm gonna have to grind if I lose. But I ate a berry though, so. How about that? Have you ever considered that? Have you considered that you could just politely just go fuck yourself? Ugh. I'll now concede your thing, but I think you came I think you came to see how great bug type Pokemon can be. I hope you also realize what you're up against in the Pokemon League. Shut up, Windows Update. Valley's a deep and complex affair. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it, back to training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, it's wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three more trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Have I said yet? I, I, fucking bug types are represented. All right, now we can never kill everyone. <laughs> Oops. Windows always trying to make cameo. Shake my head. Windows is <laughs> All right, hold on. Meanwhile, the guy's just like watching me do this. Like, hey, you're gonna be okay, kid. I'm like, shut up. I got it. You kind of kicked the shit out of me, Aaron. Like, I just gotta fucking. Just need a minute. You sure you need a minute, man? Like, you can, you can, like, leave and train, you know, like, hey, you beat me, yeah, but if you need more time to train, I'm just like, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up, man, I'm doing this! How much money are you spending right now, kid? Shut up! In fact, I'm doing my best. Okay. Yes, thank you. Oh, I can see that they're butterflies. How lovely. All right. This building is built in the most impractical way possible. What are the point of these rooms? Ground? Ground? All right, Hamilnade. Hamilnade will lead. Uh, Tula Torn second, Cephalon. Yeah, okay. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground type Pokemon. I will fuck you. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Take Grandma out to the dance. Look at this bitch. That's her pose. She's just like, Aesthetics, Max. No, 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 the aesthetics are on point. That door is gonna give me a seizure, though. I just want that stated. That door is gonna give me a seizure. Okay. Nodded in understanding. 
Heck yeah, you understand. Now Giga Drain that bitch. Suck a soul out. Here. Now do that four more times. What? Yes. Do it four more times. And look at that, we're leveling up, we're getting that experience, we're getting bigger, better, faster, stronger. Sudowoodo. Sudowoodo does have sturdy built in, right? Nah, no, not. I think so. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do something stupid, do something stupid, do something stupid. Tempted out so I won't feel sad! Tempted out so I won't feel sad! Do you good Pokemon? The best part is I'm probably gonna outspeed all of her Pokemon, so if I can sit here and keep using Giga Drain, I can I can come back from this. <laughs> like I almost died, but I can come back. And I'm leveling up. Leveling up, motherfucker. What you got? Oh, okay, you might have sturdy, but. You might have sturdy, but even if you do, shoot, how are you faster than me? How are you faster than me? Ah. Okay. I'm just gonna use Bug Buzz in case you use a full restore. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. I didn't want to waste the PP on the Giga on the Giga Drain, and because of that, I actually broke. Actually, let's use Bug Buzz again. No, 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 no! No, no. Ex explosion is set damage, unfortunately. Yeah, the explosion is explosion itself is just um is just a set amount of damage, which is why it sucks that like a Pokemon can use it at full health or at zero health, and it does just about the same. Not gonna lie though, like, that'd be kinda cool if there was an explosion that was based on your hit points. Granted, I don't like, so I don't like those kinds of moves in the first place, but that's awesome. Okay, um... Just gonna keep using Bug Buzz. I don't see a reason not to. Oh, bitch. Did it work? Why do you have Ice Beam? Why do you have Ice Beam? Yeah, I ate a berry though, what about it? Every time I eat a berry, I get 10 hit points. It means nothing, it's insignificant, but that's what I feel like that, just like I am, bitch. Yeah, fuck him up, fuck him up, yeah! That's what it would be like after every... You have Sandstream built in, don't you? Yep. Just like after every victory, you just see me behind my bug. <laughs> Alright, um, I don't have anything particularly intelligent to do, so I'm just going to keep spamming bug moves. I have Swarm, so it's going to power it up, right? Yeah! Do a status move. Miss. Do something. Damn it. Oh, well. Good shot. <laughs> literally what I'm doing. <laughs> You're the one that has Swarm, that's right. Uh, oh no, you have Swarm too. All right, you have, okay, so if he has Ice Fang, but Hippowdon is a physical wall, if I remember correctly. So I'm actually, no. We also want Silophon to get some more experience. Yeah, he'll level up after this. Dear child, don't assume for an instant that you've won. I have bullshit restores. They're bullshit. Oh shit, that didn't do anything. Bitch. 
you dirty nasty bitch. I'm gonna bank on criticals. It's not working. It's really not working. I wanna emphasize that. I'm gonna bank on criticals. Yeah! My goodness. That plan didn't work. At all. That plan failed miserably. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. If, if this is how every round's gonna be, this is how every round's gonna be. Alright, bug buzz. Let's go, bitch. Oh my goodness, why are you so tanky? Chesto Barry. <gasps> ah, yeah. <laughs> you want to play this game? All right, we're going to play this game, motherfucker. All right, I'll risk one more. I'll risk one more. Yep. And now, and now, I'm gonna ruin your life. Just bitch. God, that still only dropped him to half. Ah, shit. I didn't. Dear child, I must say that was most impressive. Your Pokemon believe in you and did their best to earn you the win. Even though I've lost, I find myself with this silly grin. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earned the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. I think that you can go as far as you want. I should have bought more revives. I should have bought more revives. I was like, I'll, I'll only need like 15. I'll be okay. Ugh. I was so wrong. I was so young. I was so naive. If only I listened to mother. And then like meanwhile, it's like a flashback to my mom saying, you play that stupid Pokemon game again? Like that game's dumb, it's for babies. She, only she truly understood my passion and believed in me. She's like, Pokemon is stupid. You're an adult. Grow up. Go to college already. Down my basement. Okay. Next up is fire. Is next up fire? I don't remember. Next up is fire. There's a whole lot of we're fucked. Like, I just want that stated for the record. Fire is going to be bad. Cock shotgun Pokemon or what? Who the fuck? Who fucks that Pokemon for babies? Don't you cock your shotgun at my mother? Sup, asshole. Yo, trainer! You had me counting the days and my fingers waiting for you to come. Five minutes! <laughs> I heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How can you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Bitch! Look at my power stance and my popped collar. Hold on, hold on. Pop collar. Okay, okay, here we go. Now, as we've discussed, Heracross isn't supposed to be fast, but he is, or she is. But she fists. She fists as fuck for no good reason. As a result, damn, my voice just cracked. All right. Shit. All right, come on, Stone Edge. I'm buff. I'm buff as fuck. Yeah. We have five shots of Stone Edge. There's five Pokemon over there. And I leveled up. I'm even faster now. I'm even faster, better, stronger. 
low punny. That's not a fire type. Max will probably knows flame kick. Bet it does. Damn it, how are you faster than me? Doesn't matter. Close combat your ass. Yeah! Max, stop doing that. It's weird. No! I'm gonna keep doing it because it's funny. What? Uh, no, I don't think so. What did Q-Charm just do? Did that just lower my attack upon me killing you? Oh my goodness. Fuck off, Steelix. I'm faster than you. <laughs> Thanks, it doesn't work like that. Yes, it does. Max, stop that. No! I'd abuse and leave it with mom and never have to pay for the four if I lost, so I'd use it to train and grind up extra cash. That is true, yeah. Being able to deposit so you don't lose money. Drift Limb? What the fuck? I say a fire type. Probably has aftermath, though, and I know I can learn flamethrower. Time for Stone Edge, because I'm faster than. How are you faster than me? How the fuck are you faster than me? Your evasiveness rose sharply. Rose on this dick! Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that, that was something that... It, it was always funny, but there was always part of me that was like, What the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. You're giving your evasiveness to someone else. That's a bad sign. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You got to be kidding me! Stone Edge! Damn it. Say a prayer that we're faster. Say a prayer that we're faster. Tank you. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, this is where it goes downhill. <laughs> this is where it goes downhill. Okay. Who's the other one that's really fast on my team? Sailophon, probably. Sailophon. I also want Salophon because if his evasiveness rose, Aerial Lace will put a stop to that. Damn, come on, live, 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 live. Ah! Fuck. Fuck. Yes. Yes. Ah. Oh no. Okay, okay. Air slash. Live, 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 live! Yeah, eat my bear. Okay. Air slash. Bitch! Max, stop doing that. I don't, I don't know why I think it's so funny. I just do. Like, look, I have a weird sense of humor. I can feel your determination. Your will is overpowering me. Especially because my last Pokemon is one I was using exclusively for setups. The situation is heating up. I'm blazing now. Everyone get your jokes out of the way, Blaze. No, fuck you. Fuck you that you're faster. How are you faster than me? How are you faster than me? There you go. Aftermath. Oh! Whoa! I wasn't expecting this. I was look—I wasn't looking down on you, but I did think for a second I'd lose. This fantastic you and your Pokemon are inspiring. Also, your hip thrusting that you're doing in the corner. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> woo! Burnt right down to cinders. Oh my goodness, I'm almost out of revives. Okay, so we got one more to go. And I think, I think Happy said it was the f fighting one. Which if it's the fighting one, we're going to freaking annihilate. I'm gonna keep using supers just because I wanna save the hypers for the moment. goodness we're gonna have like not okay if i remember correctly off the top of my head just like passing knowledge right cynthia 
Uh, I know about the guard top, but I remember the I remember the spirit tomb. But but I don't remember any of other Pokemon, and she's a champion, so there's no real set logic. You know, it's no like oh, this uh, she has all whatever types. No, she can have literally anything. No, she got literally anything. So, yeah, besides the Garchomp, I have no idea. I'm just gonna lead with Heracross, because fuck it. Ah, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lucy, and I'm a user of psychic types. This works out! I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I'll have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Close. This works out. This works out. Works out good. Good. Alright. I was I sent out Tula Torn because I was thinking he was gonna be a ghost. But this works great. Ah, light screen. Fuck you. Ah. Motherfucker. Oh, shit. And I don't have anyone that can bust through that shit. So you know what? I'm gonna make a bet. I'm going to make a bet that you're going to use purely special type moves. Because almost all psychic types use special type moves. Almost. Not all. But almost. So. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to sit here and kill time. By boosting twice. And then you're going to hit me and it ain't going to do shit. Yeah. Sure. Go for it. Yeah. I'm gonna do it again. And you have that much longer until bug buzz until light screen runs out. Plus three special attack, special defense, and speed. Give me that flinch. Oh my goodness, Tulatorn! So fucking good. He's like and Tula Torn's like, now's my time to shine. Flinch. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. They're reaching the same level as us, but we have an advantage. We're bugs. We're team bug. Team bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully light screen runs out. Graph rig. Okay. We'll do bug buzz. Oh, I didn't realize we're running out. We're running out of power points for bug buzz. Trick room. Ah, oh, shit. That's unfortunate. All right, so congratulations. You're gonna hit first. Are you gonna be able to kill me in one hit? Because. Your one line of defense just left the building. Yeah, right back to where you were. Oh shit. Live, live, live. You knew I was gonna use bugs. You and your track suit or whatever suit that is for saw it. Oh shit. I'm still gonna use air slash. Come on, yeah! I'm about to cheat and use a hyper, use a hyper bullshit. I, I normally don't stoop to your levels, but I'm gonna do it. Because I have a plus three boost to Pokemon, you know I ain't giving that shit up. Metacham, ooh, this could be bad, it might have Ice Punch. It'd be really smart if I had Ice Punch, actually. No, 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 no. Trick Room's still active. I was gonna, I was gonna do it. I was gonna be like, wait, I could probably like just dump him right now, but no, no, I gotta, gotta play a little safe. Yep. 
shit! Oh, it didn't matter. Yep, now they return to normal. Ah, uh, fuck. Hemonade will get farther. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I know we're weak to Thunder Punch, but Dollars to Donuts were faster, and Air Cutter is gonna mess you up. And hopefully get that flinch if it doesn't kill you in one shot. Flinch, 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 flinch. Come on, flinch. You have Thunder and Ice Punch? What the fuck? Well, shit. It's okay, though. It's fine. Because now we're not times four weak. We're only times two weak. So we should be a bit more tanky. Yep. Done. can't believe... Well, I guess it makes sense that he was able to take down Tumonade in... Um, or Tulatorn in um, one shot. Because I was boosting my special, not my physical. My special defense, not my physical defense. Faster. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Alright, you got me. I didn't see that coming. I was about to talk shit and I was about to be like, you don't got shit on me. That ain't gonna do anything. And then he did. Hey, I wasn't expecting that either. In my defense. In my defense, no one, we, we're all on the same page, okay? We didn't see that shit coming, all right? Also, with that future sight, I'm gonna die in one turn. Straight up, and there's no one I could, if I had a dark type, now what should I do? If I had, if I had a dark type, I could switch that dark type to like absorb the future sight, but I don't, okay, I don't. So I'm just gonna go hard. Boom. Okay, that didn't do as much as. Yep, he's wasting turn on that. He's making himself so he's faster. Yep, this makes perfect sense. Uh, Future Sight still hasn't hit me yet. You're a dumb bitch. Why would you do that if you just switch the order? Like, why? Why would you? Why would you do that? That makes no logical sense. But you know what? Do it again. I, I insist. Do it again. Yeah! Dodged a nuke! It's like when you get evasion with a rogue. And like someone like casts Meteor, but because you have evasion, somehow you just dodge and you just walk out of the impact zone. Like, what now, bitches? Yeah, I don't know what you. I don't know why you're using payback. Probably because you're like, I don't have a better move to actually use. Payback's the next closest thing I got. Also, fuck everyone in this game that they all have citrus berries and I only have oran berries, but you know what? We're making it work. We're making it work, motherfucker. That's right, we're making it work. Yeah. Yeah. Max, can you please stop doing that dance? No! No! I see. These glasses aren't real glasses. You gain past the three before me was no fluke. Your power is real. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're down to Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. My last Oran Berry. It shall go to Tulatorn. Um. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if you like this flavor. <laughs> okay. Oh, we only got three restores left. <laughs> Which is actually, it's okay. Because that's the perfect number. Because now we have two max revives for if we need to start getting real cheesy. You know what I mean? If we need to start getting real part cheesy up in this bitch, we got 
We got two max revives. That's when we start doing the strategy of just like cycling in Pokemon because you know we can't get like a clean switch in, so instead we have to like just let someone die. You know what I mean? We've all done it. Don't pretend we haven't all done it because we've all done it. I've done it. Alright, um. Let me heal those three hit points. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now elixirs. Uh, we'll just do this. Okay. Um, Tulatorn needs in Bug Buzz, and you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're not fine. Giga Drain's fine. Stone Edge. All right. All right. Can I cheat and like save right here? Because it is getting late, so if we do have to like redo this, you know, I don't want to redo the whole thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know who she's going to lead with, but I know whatever order we have our Pokemon in is going to be the order they are when we put them in the machine. There you go. Usually they also wear HM Pokes for exploration since, uh... Yep. Yep. Usually they're all HM for so I hate having HMs on my main crew. Yep. Just make them up to be tanky as possible. Be like, your job is to sit there and take hits for me. Yeah. Uh, if I had to rank, like, in terms of favorites, without a doubt, Heracross. I really... Okay, so Motham was always a Pokemon I just didn't really give a shit about. It was just like, whatever, it's Motham. Motham has pulled through. In a major capacity. Moth Mothman has been very strong. Never never got to play with the Vespa Queen. I have now. Love it. Uh, Krikatoon? I shat on Krikatoon originally. Like, I really did. And Krikatoon is really... Actually, I'm going to switch to... Krikatoon? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to do this. Because Krikatoon, as much as I'm kind of using him like a poor man's Heracross, he's pulled through in a lot of situations. And have... Uh, sorry, Veladier, you pulled through a lot of situations, but someone has to be at the bottom. And Hemelnade, the main reason you've been doing so good is because Giga Drain. <sighs> Notice that this room was longer. Just want to point that out. Let's go! That music. Have you. Oh, that's why I gave her Sai's voice. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for my internet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all of the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means you have triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge! Oh no, she's hot. Look, we're all faking it. Just leaves the spirit tomb. Ah! Alright, so we fought a spirit tomb before, if I remember correctly, and if not, I'm about to Google it. Dark ghost. I know, right? It was horrifying. Alright, Mega Horn. We're just gonna power through this bitch. I know Spirit Tube's tanky, but fuck you! Oh god. Alright, all depends on what you do next. It all depends on what you do next. Uh, that's not. We're not gonna be able to kill him one more. Shit! Uh! my main Pokemon. Son of a bitch. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, okay. Just neutered my main Pokemon. Fuck. You know what? Stop getting there. 
Oh, okay, come on, get in there. Alright. X scissor that thing's ass. There you go. Fuck it up. Get a critical. I didn't really. I didn't really do much. I didn't really. Okay. <laughs> Just yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's not looking good for the home team. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. This is okay. This is okay. Uh, my friend in Florida to the dark side is not going to help me with max my character. <laughs> nice. Okay. Gotta see if we can get a free swap. Gotta see if we can get a free swap. Because Hemelnade will shut that bitch down in one turn. Skull. Bitch, that ain't going to do nothing. Damn it. Well, it still ain't going to do nothing. Still ain't gonna do nothing against this. Motherfucker. And look at that. I may be burned, but I'm fully healed. Count that as a win. Yeah. Oh, and he healed through sheer determination. Like, it's free. Speaking of free. Hi, aren't you beautiful? Oh, fuck. All right. You caught me. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was burned by the flame orb. I don't have a flame orb. Explain. Explain. What the fuck? Explain. How are you suddenly faster than me? Explain yourself. You're a pure water type. Uh. God, you really have to hurt everyone on the dark side. Yeah! Oh, God! I mean, the burn's gonna damage too, but why did that not do much damage? Come on. It's not even lowering your special or whatever. Okay, come on. Come on, tough it through, tough it through. Fuck. Why do you have three holes in your neck? I never noticed that. Come on, lower your special defense, lower your special defense. That's what Bug Buzz, that's what Bug Buzz is supposed to do. Thank you. Okay. Why are you burn? Why are you why? All right. Really hope you're not gonna make keep using your code though. It's gonna get really annoying if you do. Damn it. Shit. You know what, you wanna be a dick and just sit there and use mirror coat? And shit. You wanna make this long drawn out fight? Fucking deal. It's like, uh, Max, she hasn't used an item yet. You used an item. Use mirror coat and you fail. Oh. And you know what, know what the best part is? I don't think you can kill me in one turn. I don't think you can kill me in one turn. That's fine. Uh, just trying to out endure this fight. I am. Because once again, it, it is always an interesting situation in Pokemon when you know for a fact they can't kill you in one turn. And no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let your, I'm just gonna let your bullshit take you down. Yeah, I'm just gonna let your bullshit take you down. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need a hyper potion. Because you know what, I know this is a hard freaking fight. So I'm gonna sit here and cheese the shit out of this. What's her face just pulls out a Glock and shoots your Pokemon. 
So yeah, Quiver Dancer on this bitch. <laughs> And know what? That burn is doing a lot of the work for me. Yeah, so I'm just gonna hyper potion. And once that burn gets down to a suitable level where I'm cool with it, I'm just gonna offer. And the skull is gonna do less and less damage each turn. I'm gonna do one more quiver dance. Yep. Is this a bullshit strategy? Is this dumb? Oh, you believe you better believe it. It is like not fair and not sportsmanship, uh, sportsmanlike. You know it. But I don't have any more revives. Well, I have one. So I gotta keep people alive. All right, we will. I will throw another hyper potion. Yep, I'll throw next next round. I'll throw a hyper potion. And then. Is gonna increase because the special is going down, so that would make them burn damage anymore. Exactly. Actually, I don't know if it works that way, but I hope it does because it's funny. Yep. Think she ain't stalling? She's like, oh, you know, if the burn just hurts me enough, I'll just do that. And I'm like, oh shit, you're right, you know? That's an excellent, excellent point. You know what? Shit, you got me. You got me. Oh yeah, that's right. I can keep boosting. You just gave me time to set up. Mirror coat. Okay. Yeah, yeah you're just giving me time to set up. All right. And now. Sludge bomb. I'm sure I can't poison you, but I'm just gonna fuck you up with damage. Yeah. Yep. And the best part is, unless you start using items, I'm faster than you. Damn it! But she has a toxic orb. She has a toxic orb, so isn't she just gonna get burned again? How many elites have you beaten tonight? Uh, I mean, this is the champion, so this is the last one. Nope. Valadier, home through. Sent out Lucario. Now here's the deal, Lucario. You're fast as fuck, and I know you're fast as fuck. But I'm boosted as fuck. Psychic bits. Womp! Ah, oh, shit. You're a special attack, Lucario. Oh, shit. You got pulses for days, don't you? Here's the problem. I'm faster than you. You know what? You know what the fun part of this adventure is? I'm still faster than you. Thank goodness you didn't have extreme speed. I just thought of that. I just thought of that. Oh, that would've been bad. But you know what? Fuck it, Valdir is level 64 now, bitch. <laughs> You're gonna say no. No way in the world you'd kill me in one hit. No way in the world you'd kill me in one hit. I will cheese the shit out of this. I will cheese the shit out of this. No way in the world you can kill me in one hit. I'll give you something to set up. Yo, do, do growth or whatever shit. Do grassy terrain or some nonsense. Don't give a shit. Shadow ball. Ow! I can't believe Veladier, who I've shat on this entire playthrough, is about to pull through and just annihilate. Wait, I should have done Psychic. Oh, well, whatever. Fuck it. Yeah, Veladier, who I've shat on this entire playthrough, is pulling through for the Cynthia fight. There you go. All right, now for the big one. Now for the big scary one. The one we're all afraid of. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like, oh wait, I didn't say it in the size, right? I can't remember the last time. Oh shit. Oh shit. Sludge Bob, Sludge Bob, just go, just go, <laughs> fucking nuke him. Oh God, all my, oh, it's because um, I don't have my special defense up. 
That's right, poison doesn't work on ground. Should have used psychic. Alright. We have this many Pokemon. We have okay. I want I'm gonna Google something. I'm gonna Google something. I know I just Googled it, but I'm gonna Google it again because I always forget. I'm really forgetful about this kind of shit. Bug type Pokemon resist ground attacks. Ground attacks don't resist them. Kyojimba. Let's go. I was just looking up type charts. Let's go. Let's go. Take that shit. Oh shit. Let's go. Yeah. What? Oh fuck you. I won't let this end yet. This match is too fun to let it end this early. Lift, 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 lift. Damn it! Alright, well. That's unfortunate. Sanifon, get out there! Sanifon, get out there! Ooh. Nope, come on, take that shit! Yeah! Come on! Done! Oh, hey. Oh, dry skin. I got dry skin. Ooh. Oh. All right. Did we pull some bullshit? Yes. Was it worth it? Considering the whole point of this challenge is putting yourself in an immediate weak spot. Think of how much our move types overlapped and looked how we were underleveled in this final fight. We were quickly becoming underleveled. I feel no guilt. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most power- Wait, what? And just now, you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. I can kill you. <laughs> About to sell my chair. <laughs> that was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I get from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the lift. I was gonna say, like, if Stukarov comes and steals my shit, especially because I have no revives, I was gonna be pissed. Just goes to your house and caps your mom in front of you and then breaks your knee. <laughs> it's like, what's you going to do about it? Oh, sorry, I got, I got a gun. What you going to do about it? <laughs> the room ahead is the Hall of Fam. Ah oh, shit, you still got that briefcase. Yeah, yeah, yes. No one, no one wants to pip up. Abathrina, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. A child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. And how you got your ass whooped and you did some bullshit tactics masks. Also, your love for Heracross and he still got his ass whooped twice. I was like, hey! Heracross is a beast. Aberthrina, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. We don't have adults here. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Perv. Step this way, please, Aberthrina. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm... Dancing required. It's been a long time while since I. It's been a long while since I last entered this time. <laughs> If the, last time, if the last time you were here was when I became champions, then yes, that would be a long time ago. Abyssalina, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here, but you are leaving all the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you th uh, through many challenging battles. I have like a little quick someone edit it edit it edit it so that there's a beautiful montage 
This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Kyojimba! Fuck yeah, Kyojimba! To the torn! Zaragin! Xylophone! Hemonade! Veladier! You all, without a doubt, I, there may have been times where I've shat on you, there may have been times where I've said mean things, without a doubt, each and every one of you we're fucking heroes. Freaking beautiful. We did it. We did an all bug challenge. I threatened it for so long. We did it. I, I'm very happy about that. Yeah. It felt weird, like, not constantly switching Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so used to always, like, grabbing new Pokemon and, like, trying to make it work and taking time to train. It felt really nice just grabbing what I wanted and just going. No hours. Which I feel like might be somewhat inaccurate. Well, I guess we have to look the length of each stream, but... Don't forget that also includes me banging my head against each tree. <gasps> it me. That was fun. I, I really enjoyed doing that. Um, I will say, though, I think in a lot of ways, I feel like I may have picked the wrong game to do this in um if it was okay obviously this is a newer game on the switch it's not pokemon platinum but i'm willing to make a bet that pokemon platinum had more bugs and had more bug variety i think that oh i love the drift rooms i think that was the biggest thing the biggest issue they're here to steal me they're gonna drag me to the underworld and kill me i think that was the biggest um plot flaw with this game or with this run that i have that in this game Besides Cricketune, and besides the, um, you know, I discovered once you go into the forest, you can get, uh, who we call it? You can get, uh, Beautifly and, uh, God, what are their actual names? Have? Beautifly and Dustox. Right? Like, besides those three, you'd have to sit there and, like, bang your head against trees, and then, like, the one that I actually wanted was only 1%. I probably should have done a little bit more research to make sure about that because it was kind of awkward doing a bug only challenge and the first stream I didn't have any bugs oh it's all good man thanks so much for stopping by I know we were kind of running late it was good to have you though I imagine I imagine grinding is dragging you out is whatchamacallit is draining of energy got to return the TV I brought from my sister's room again ah it's all good yeah thanks so much for coming but, um, yeah, I think, I think I should have done more research. I should have made sure that whatever game that I chose to do this in had bugs. Also, I just suddenly got really self-conscious. Has my microphone been peaking this whole time? God, I hope not. I'm going to be really sad if I discover it was. Okay, good. But, um, oops, oops, and I broke my sound settings. Oops, I broke my sound settings. Uh, I just jacked it three nights in a row. I'm gonna make it four tomorrow. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, yeah, but say it like that, why don't you? Um. Well, well, they skipped a lot of events there. Oh shit! I, I didn't realize this fucking Palka or Dialga in the background looking horrifying as shit. But um, yeah, that that's just a hindsight thought. In hindsight, I wish I did that. That was really cool and kind of creepy how it like kind of appeared and then went away, you know what I mean? Have a good night, man. Thanks so much for coming. But, um, yeah, so in the future if I do this again, or if I do a challenge similar to it where I limit myself to a type of Pokemon, I need to do some research. I need to sit down and do some actual no shit research. Oh, Dialga's freaking cool. Like, between Dialga and Palkia, I'd probably... Uh, yeah, I'd probably choose Dialga. I don't like Palkia's color scheme, but that's just because I, I'm not really a fan of pinks and purples compared to like the blue and the silver. I think it looks really nice. But um, yeah, I had a great time with this. I hope the rest of your night goes well grinding. Oh, I'm not grinding an Elden Ring. That's that's gonna be dealt with. But um, 
What's your face? The green train and Cynthia are still. But um, are you saying? Are you saying you're grinding the other man? Yeah, there he is again. Oh, oh god, that eye is creepy. Oh, it's creepy and horrifying, but I love it. But I should say, okay, so what are my thoughts on it gonna go faster tomorrow? The rest of my friend Flora's gonna help me. But what are my thoughts on this game as a whole? Because I've never finished a Generation 4 game before. It's a Pokemon game. That's not even me trying to be a shit. Like, it's a Pokemon game. It... If I could, I'd tuck you into bed. But, um... Mother! I am a god! Have some din-din. Like, yeah, din-din. The end. But no, it was a Pokemon game. It was fine. I like how they, um... Having uh, having limited TMs, but having multiple of them felt nice. Not having to put HMs on everything felt nice. Team Galactic, uh, Team Gal Galaxy, or whatever the fuck their name, Team Galactic. I thought they were cool, but they almost kind of felt like non-entities. To be completely honest, it sounds weird, but they kind of felt like non-entities. Uh, Dialga, like they just kind of showed up and they just kind of dealt with them and they kind of left. And like the main part when you dealt with them was like all in one spot, so it's just kind of like all right, whatever. Um. The rival was fun and spunky, I guess, if not kind of annoying, but I think that was his, I think that was the point. I think it's supposed to be kind of annoying. Uh, did, I was gonna say screen got darker. Um Quest was fine, Cynthia's fine, Cynthia's fine. It's all whatever. Like I know that's kind of shitty for me to say that like it's a Pokemon game, but it's because I love Pokemon, okay? I genuinely love Pokemon. I appreciate what they're trying to do with the day-night cycles, with the waiting a day, but the little kid in me gets, got annoyed by that. But I can recognize the, like, novelty of it, and I think it's cool. Um, Turtwig is still a favorite of the four starters. Don't get me wrong, Infernape's pretty great. Infernape's pretty good. Empoleon's pretty good. But between them, Torterra is 100% my favorite. What was that? Elephant, just like, what was that? Oh, it was him. I just want them to get a good shot of um, Dialga. Dialga? Dialga. Spear Pillar was cool. There we go. I want to get a good shot of him. God, what an imposing figure, though. Anyways, we're basically done. We're, we're basically done, but there's two things I want to check. Just two. They make me happy. Ma'am! Uh. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm just gonna Google it. Brilliant Diamond Post Game. It's getting late, I just realized that. I want to Google. Alright. Uh. Alright, uh. Uh. Okay, so you can catch. How to get all legendary Pokemon. Alright, cool. Capture Lake Guardians, unlock the Catching Charm, unlock the Oval Charm, unlock the National Pokedex and Poke Radar, challenge the Dow Tower, unlock the Judge Function. Judge Function. Catch, uh, catch Heatran at Stark Mountain, Battle Berry one more time, catch Legendary Pokemon at Ravenous Park, catch Brigidus, catch Giratina, catch Cressalia, rematch the Gym Leaders in Elite Four, complete the National Pokedex. What's the judge function? The, uh... Oh, you'll need this to find out the individual IVs of your Pokemon. Yeah, so this is just... Keep in mind, you can only battle Barry on the weekend. Why? Uh... Yep, there's just all sorts of different locations it looks like you can go to so you can catch all sorts of different legendaries. Which is cool. 
Oh, so the plan for Friday. I just realized my light looks weird. Uh, plan for Friday is Elden Ring. Oh, I should say, I didn't say before Java left, damn it. Um. So, so this series is now done, which is a good thing. You know, not, not to say that I didn't have a good time. You know, I, I, I did, but I have, I have kind of an odd relationship with, um, yeah, I'll, I'll fully admit this. I kind of have an odd relationship with, um, oh, I have to go from the south. That's right. I really wish I could just fucking fly there, but I can't, which is really annoying. All right. Um, I think the guy was on this path. So we'll go there, we'll buy a shit ton of repels, and then we'll um we'll try to bum rush through one time. But um yeah, because there's mainly actually you know there's three things I'm curious on. But um I didn't announce the next game that I'm gonna uh, that we're going to do. And I know what everyone's thinking, let's go back to Resident Evil, but oh where the fuck is the where the fuck is the store? Where the fuck is the store? The fuck where? The fuck where's the store? Oh, wait, 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 is this? Yep, 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 yep. So, I, I know the thought process is probably, let's get back to Resident Evil, or better yet, if, um... Yeah, we're not gonna worry about revive. Actually, wait, no. Got sudden feel in my gut. But um There it is, repels perfect. Alright, um bup, bup, bup. There, I think we'll be good for a minute. Uh, nope. But um but um Yeah, so I know the thing is like, oh Resident Evil, oh the Oculus Rift. Well, I haven't done the research yet. I haven't I, I haven't done it yet, so we're not quite ready for it. So instead, we're gonna be doing something else. So a while ago, I forget how long now, I was invited, oh shit, I was invited to be part of a podcast. This isn't necessarily a consistent thing. This isn't necessarily every single episode. In some ways, I probably shouldn't even really be announcing it. So just, I've been given the opportunity that may not be fine. Oh. Do you say for the sake of my, uh, I take on people I know I can't beat? I don't want to fight you. I'm the, I'm the fucking champion. I'm the fucking champion. What level are you? What, what fucking level are you? 20. I am so s You avoided it. Uh, yeah, so I've been given an opportunity for the. I'm still scheduled to go on it. Um, I when it happens, I'll uh, I'll post some links and I'll talk about it and stuff. But its focus its focus is on different games and specifically horror games. Is one I was invited for, and they want me to. I'm not gonna say what this. But they want me to play Eternal Darkness: Sanity's Requiem. Now. I feel like I'm floating when I say that. Um, fuck off! I'm the, I'm the damn champion. I have to do your bullshit. But um, they want uh, they want to play Eternal Darkness: Sanity's Requiem. I don't. I own a GameCube, and I looked up how much that game is. It's like two hundred, three hundred dollars, depending on where you look. So we're going to um, we're going to buy it in a totally legitimate fashion. That's totally real. And definitely not a computer program. That's what we're gonna do. Definitely not a computer program. Under no circumstances. It's not. Don't. It's not. And yeah, we're gonna play through it. It'll, we'll treat it just like it's any other horror game that we play, you know? The goal is just go through, have fun. I'm sorry, did that poison go away at the end of the fight? What the fuck? Yeah, we'll just play it, have fun. But the problem is, I have to make sure...
There it is. Okay, I was gonna say, like, where's the... I think the person was right here. So this is stop number one. Uh... I wait for a strong shot like you to come. If you got faith, care to join me in a match? Shit. Shit. I'm about to get my ass rocked. Dolls and Donuts, this guy's like supposed to be a final end game challenge. Yeah, he's got. You're challenged by Game Freaks Morimoto. I'm willing to bet Morimoto is like the name of a. Of a developer, and they're all gonna be like level 80 or some shit. I'm gonna get destroyed. Oh. Well, I mean, shit, like. Um, I, I feel like I'm about to, feel like I'm about to, like, win or lose, I'm not going to feel bad. I didn't, I thought he was going to hand me something cool. I didn't, I didn't think he was going to challenge me to a fight, so I feel kind of bad. That's two critical hits. Because your boss like, look, I, I can do it. I'm like, I know you could, man. I always believe in you. It's okay. Yep, one more stone edge and you got it. But um, yeah, so that's gonna be our next game. We're gonna delay Resident Evil for a little bit longer. And um, yeah, we're gonna play it, have fun. I just gotta figure out the emulator and then figure out, make sure the controllers and everything work on it. I mean, dude, uh, I mean, why does that flare on look like it has lower ground? Oh shit. Why does the flare on look like it has lower graphics? Anyone else knows that? Alright, um... No one directly has anything that's particularly strong against it. Oh wait, no, yes I do. Let me know if you need any help with that. I will. Um, today's my, or sorry, tomorrow's gonna be my last day of the work week. So I'll probably troubleshoot it in the evening and on Friday. We'll try to, we'll try to get it well and figure it out before, um... Damn. Do you notice that my hit points didn't even bother to say 173 and scale down? They just said zero. And they just stayed at zero. Yeah, I'm, 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 I feel like I'm about to lose. And they're gonna take all my money and be like, bitch, me. I'm not gonna care. So. Uh, I don't got anything effective against you. So, fuck it. You just got flared with. Eggs. <laughs> yeah, eggs. Yep. There you go. But um, yeah. So we'll we'll figure that out. We'll troubleshoot it. It uh, we'll figure that. Out. We'll troubleshoot it. We'll get it so it's in playable state. It'll be all good. And then after that, hopefully by then we will have figured out um, we will have figured out how to get who's gonna call it working uh, up and running. We'll have figured out how to get uh. Oculus Rift uh, or Oculus Quest streaming up and running, so that'll be all good. Also, I just want to point out that guy killed himself by murdering my Pokemon, and I don't even care. I really don't. That's why I said like win or lose. Who cares? I don't Google what he gets me though. I don't think I'm gonna win. Uh. Da, 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 da. Uh, more about appears to me soon, but he challenge you a battle once a day, like in Sword and Shield, he gives a player the Oval Charm after the game for the first time. What's the Oval Charm? Oval Charm. Man, I just got murdered. Okay, what, what is, what is the Oval Charm? Alright, uh, it increases the chance of an egg. It increases the. It inc let's see. It increases the chance of an egg being found at Pokemon Day Camp. Uh, nice. Yep, and that's death. Like I said, I'm not really paying attention. 
you have to equip it to a Pokemon? Like, no, you just add it. Cool. Yep, add him out. That's fine. You're overwhelmed by your defeat, which hasn't happened once. Just want to point that out. You see me cry, like... Uh, thank you, thank you. All right, so that's number th that's number one I wanted to check out. So now we're gonna check out number two, which should be pretty quick and easy. Ah! Oh, that's not what I wanted. Switch. All right, and then I'm just gonna because it's getting late. It's 11 o'clock for me. Um, I'm not even like we're not even gonna bother. Is it? Yep. Yeah, we're, we're, there's there's gonna be no bothering with Oop. with wild Pokemon we're just gonna go the moment they're like would you like to blah 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 we're gonna say yes oh that's all good man we're, we're about done I just want to see what these last two things were cause they, they look interesting so I'm like you know what I mean but it's all good thanks so much for uh, thanks so much for coming by though hope you had fun Uh What? Okay, we're we're Googling that shit. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Fullpedia Victory Road. Okay, there we go. We're gonna we're gonna Google what what is up with this. Alright, um Sinnoh. Um this one's a side cave that only becomes accessible in the post game. What the fuck? Uh, specializes. She's one of the stat trainers. Specializes in single. She's all while become dull battles. Um, uh, interesting. So what? You have to get her to the end, kind of a deal. I don't know what the side room is, though, but I'm not going to worry too hard about it. All right. And lastly, we're going to go... And lastly, we're going to go see what that one room is. This is just me being curious. Be a great rest of the evening for everyone else. Sorry, I love you. No. Hope to see you Friday, man. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah. This will take, hopefully, less than a minute. We have to exit, or we have to enter through the south, which is stupid, but... It's how the game wants to play. It's how the game wants to play. All right. Uh, there we go. Hopefully our repel is still on and we'll just blaze on through. And hopefully there aren't any trainers that oops, there aren't any trainers that I missed, so we can further blaze through. Because if I have to go fight a bunch of people and they're all like level ten, I'm gonna be really annoyed. No avoiding that one, that's why I was like. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Uh, yeah. Alright. Go. Yes. Oh, shoot. Wait, what in the world? What in the world is this? Shortcuts? Like this would be a real confounding maze where your resources and strategy would be taxed if you weren't a flipping cheater that just, you know, 
use repels. I'm like, damn straight. Oh, yeah, th th this is it. Yeah, this is a shortcut. No, it's not it. That was. That's not it. See, we're almost there. Sure now. I just remember the path splits off to the right. The path splits off to the right. If I don't find me in the next like two minutes, I'm just gonna. I it can't have been this way though because I didn't have waterfall at the time. Know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, it can't have been this way because I didn't have waterfall. So we're just gonna. So we're just gonna keep on going. Yes. Max, this is such a waste of resources. Yep. Got that right. Did I have rock climb at the time? Probably, right? Okay, so there's no point in being up there except for Pokemon. Pokemon. I've watched that be like, this is the one spot where you can catch a Gibble. It's not what I meant to do, but you know what? I just realized these are the kinds of rocks you can't smash, so that worked out. Hopefully, hopefully this way is it. I know. This is basically, it's pretty much, we're pretty much going to Spear Pillar, but it's like there's one last turn off. Yes, this is it. This is it. Okay, cool. And because we have rock climb, we can do this shit. I love that, like, they don't make us a Pokemon comes out each time, you know what I mean? That, like, you know, they, they show it once. Which, if I would have made it so that if you click, you could still, like, go through it faster. You know what I mean? That's a me thing. Now we go through. Okay, dragon claw. It's, it's all right, I guess. What kind? More puzzles. I mean, they're not much puzzles. You know, it's just a. Wait a second. No. Now it's this? Now it's Defog? I know the original game, you know, they have this here, so that way... Have I been here before? Was that just a shortcut? This is this feels familiar. This feels familiar. I think yeah. I think all that was was like the guy was blocking a shortcut. Maybe they didn't want you to go off in the weeds or just maybe they wanted like they want to make sure you went through all like the team galactic members. Yeah, that's totally what it is. Yeah. 
you know, that one path is like, oh, you gotta, you, you get Dragon Claw, that's cool. Anything else now? It's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, because you can push this to go either way. And then... I'm willing to bet if I go through here, it'll be suspiciously free of loot. Yeah, they, they just they just didn't want you to They didn't want you just to push through there and then be like, oh look, there I am. No, they they they're blocking me. Okay, so that answers that question. But so if that's the case then, let's end the episode. Oops. Let's end the episode off here. We'll go home. So, yep, so so, overall, I had a good time with this. I think the moral of the story is just I should have done a little bit more research into making sure this challenge is doable. I think I mentioned it. Well, I mentioned it a little bit. Um, if I am going to do another Pokemon challenge, besides just playing Pokemon Arceus, in which I'll just literally... If and when I play that game, I'm going to play it with the mindset of use whatever Pokemon you want. Like, I'm not going to do any particular challenge. It's just going to be go have fun. So... Fair warning for that. But the next time I do a strictly Pokemon challenge, it'll probably be the last generation that I haven't done on Twitch. Oh, okay, there's a few I did on YouTube, but we're gonna ignore those. Um, yeah, we'll do the last one that we haven't done on Twitch, which is generation five. I think I was talking about doing a poor man's challenge. And the idea there was going to be, we were only gonna use Pokemon that are insanely common. And uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to find like a good list of like, Pokemon ranked by like how many different routes they show up in so it'll be a matter of personal judgment kind of a deal like we'll lean towards gen 5 Pokemon but for the most part it'll be like oh Rattata those are common oh Pidgey those are common oh Tentacool those like you know we'll do our damnedest to get a Tentacool uh, a te like yeah a Tentacool or a Wingull a Zubat some kind of Rattata some kind of Pidgey we'll focus on all the basic bitch Pokemon that'll basically be our goal for that playthrough, which I think would be a good time, but no set destination on it then. Um, yeah. Overall, yeah, I had fun. There was some hang-ups. There was definitely some, you know, you could argue there was some lack of variety as compared to other generations or other games, but I still had a really good time with this, and I, you know, I'm glad that I did it. Alright, so, let's end the episode off here. Next time we stream is going to be on Friday. We're going to be back to Elden Ring, which I'm excited about. And as I mentioned before, on Monday, hopefully I'll have everything troubleshoot by then. If not, we'll just keep doing Elden Ring. Uh, we will be doing Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem, which I think is going to be a really good time. Um, and that's which are going to be a Facebook, Twitter, Parlor, and Discord because it's second social media. The virus will be put on YouTube relatively quickly. And yeah, let's end the episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have fun. I know I did. And I will see you then. Thank you for coming. Bye. Bloop.